Hello Coffin Cards community, hope you all are having a great start to your week. Um, so we have some people that are interested in a Commander Legends battle. Uh, right now we have Guillermo, my Bronco, which is Chris Smith I'm pretty sure, Booty, which I think is Marcus, and maybe Lord Debacle. Um, we need five people though. It's $29 plus shipping. There are five battlers. You get four packs each and then the high and low mana value each gets two packs of Commander Legends. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure to hit exclamation point discord. Get in the discord, go read the box battle rules and sign up in box battle signups. If we get enough people and everybody pays tonight, we can run that later tonight during the stream. Otherwise we can maybe hopefully get that fired for Thursday. Hope y'all are having a good night. Thought I'd uh, pull out the collector boosters for Ronnie. Since he seemed to like those. Oh, let's see. Got uh, some restock of inventory. As you can see. Got plenty of stuff. So hopefully you guys are ready to open some packs. I haven't seen uh, Jeremy in chat yet. Jeremy, if you're here, let me know. Um, otherwise, we're gonna skip him for now. But I do see that Myth is here. Having a good day until Hole Breacher got banned. Yeah, that happened today. Lots of people's uh, wallets are very sad right now. Mike, thanks for stopping by. Guillermo, Ronnie, Myth, Marcus, Landhead, Ron Dark Raven, James Keeling, welcome. Thanks for stopping by and joining the Coffin Cards community. You can head on over to Discord if you want to chat in between streams. Um, Lord Debacle's here as well. So very cool, guys. Pac Menace is here too. Very cool. Jeremy did have a spicy meal day since the land head. You can see that in the Discord. Wish you'd held on to your box. I hear you. That's why I always ask people, because uh, I can fill them up. Um... I think I actually probably shipped yours in a bubble mailer because I didn't have quite enough to make a box make sense, but... Um... 
Never got a chance to use yours, Starnell? That stinks. I know, I think we opened you like two or three, which is kind of sad now that we go back and think on that. If anybody wants to purchase packs for tonight, we have everything but Caltime Collectors and Strixhaven Collectors that's up on the screen. Head to CoffinCards.com and fill out the form. We have three shipping options, up to six or up to six cards in a plain white envelope for one dollar. There's no tracking on that. Hits only is uh, rares, mythics, and foils, and any other card worth over a dollar. Um, just mention which uh, non rares and mythics you want, and I'll include them for you. It's five dollars up to a pound, or nine dollars for all cards up to a four hundred count box. Um, so. I'll shove that thing full, which is normally like 500, 550 cards, somewhere in that ballpark. I'm not exactly sure, but it's more than 400. Uh, so you submit the form on the website that has all the information I need, and they need to make payment by PayPal, friends and family, or someone you trust, depending on how it shows up on your side. Please don't put any notes in there. Um, I've heard it gets accounts shut down, and I have everything I need on the form, so there's no need to put any notes in there. Um, and then you can also pay by Cash App, or I even have a Zelle, um, but I'd have to look up my information. Landhead, Tanker, and Guillermo should change from one pack to battle. Guillermo's in on the battle. Um, he's one of, ooh, looks like we might have enough people now. Um, let me look at the reactions real quick. As long as whoever or Lord Debacle, do you want to do the battle tonight or no? And I can hold your cards for you for a while if you need some time on shipping. We have Pac Menace, Hootie, My Bronco, and Guillermo that all want to do the battle. So if Lord Debacle wants in tonight, we can get that going later tonight. Yeah, Guillermo's already in on it. Um, so if Lord Debacle wants to do that battle we get that going tonight uh but let's go ahead and get started tonight with myth he has one cal time collector and two modern horizons two collectors the last cal time collector he's hoping for the Vorin Clex. i don't know what else he's looking for so i uh, go ahead and roll that dice to see which one of these one packs he's gonna get it's uh odds it'll be the front left pack if it's evens it'll be the back right pack we have a nine, that's the front left pack. That's the one over here. Box is gone, so we throw it away. Goodbye, box. We do have a few more packs in the Modern Horizons 2 packs. So this one is gonna matter. I'll also be front left, even to be back right, looking for snow-covered island or forest. Well, you have a 40% chance of making that happen. There we go. 14. So that's two from the back right, or just the right in this case. Everybody's wish a myth, good luck. Grab Miss cards. Card, name card. A lot better chances at them than a Warren Clex. Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Lord Debacle, do you want to do that uh, Commander Legends battle tonight or no? I know you said you're in and out. If not, we can try to get that fired up on Thursday or maybe see if somebody else would like to join in on it tonight. I have plenty of boxes so we could do another one on Thursday if you want. So Cal time. Let's see what you got. Starting out with Bind, Barrow, Intruder, Village Rights, Wings of the Cosmos, Bind the Monster, Frostbite, Collector's Packs, Need to See All the Cards, Arena Speed, Glimpse the Cosmos, Snow Covered Mountain. That was not one of them, but this is one of my favorite arts. So hopefully you like that one. Uh, Sirtland Flinger is your first rare. This is one of the uh, theme booster rares. Ascendant Spirit Extended Art. Glorious Protector Foil. Morit of the Frost. Orvar the All Form Mythic Showcase card right there. Foil, Cole the Forge Master, and then your last card. Mythic, this is a good one. Uh, a Sika God of the Tree Showcase with the Prismatic Bridge Showcase on the back. Beautiful card there. Very popular commander, at least in Brawl on Arena. So I would hope the same for um, 
paper. Myth loves Orvar, and then you have that uh, Asika as well. So that was a pretty good final pack. No uh, Vorinclex, but double Mythic. That's never something to complain about. Have that as a commander, but not in foil. Well, congratulations, you got the upgrade, sir. Two Modern Trisons, two Collector's Packs now. Hoping for some good stuff. We have a Beast Token in the back and a Floodhound in the front. Emily's here. Thanks for stopping by, Emily. Storm God's Oracle. Looks like my camera's just a little bit off and it's driving me crazy. Hold on a second, guys. Why does it do that? No! Must get it right. That's better, I think. There we go. Storm Scott Oracle. Gift Guilt Blade Prowler. Banner Hide Crushock. Arch Fiend of Sorrows. Sweep the Skies. Got another mountain. Mountains are popular tonight for you. Sanctum Weaver Extended Art. Late to dinner. Thrasta Tempest Roar. This is great in a pack battle. Not so great when it's your mythic. Good evening, Waffle Fries. Before I see you personally play, I play standard on Arena a lot. I don't really have an in-person play group yet. I started playing during COVID, so it's been kind of weird. And I have a baby at home, so I don't have a lot of time. Mind Collapse, Talisman of Resilience, Bone Shards is your old... Border Etch Foil, Enchantress's Priest for an etched uh, new to modern card, and a Foil Force of Vigor. I think that's a pretty good hit if I remember correctly. So that's pretty cool. It's the old border as well. It's Modern Horizons 1 reprint. Finally got a tripod, makes a huge difference. So expect better videos in the future. Congratulations. The Force of Vigor, I can get that sleeved up for you. Find my sleeves real quick. Sorry, I don't know which ones are like the huge, huge hits. But I think maybe Force of Vigor is one of them, 15. It's a sleeve card, not a problem. If you see something you want sleeved, just let me know, guys. I will take care of it for you. My modern knowledge is not the best. I know like fetch lands and stuff like that. So. Blacksmith skill. Rift Sower. Sojourner's Companion, Viashino Lash Claw, Blazing Rootwalla, Terramorph, and a Plains. Chitter Spitter Extended Art, that's fun for scroll decks. Gargadon. Murktide Regent, that's a nice one right there. I think that might be a sleeve card too. No Landhead Piper, just not get sleeved. Not sure if it's the regular or the foil version that's worth a lot on the Regent, but we'll give it a sleeve anyway. Jade Avenger. Bone Shredder, whoops. Doffy Voidwalker, Edge Start, that might be another sleeve card, followed by a Foil Extended Art Scalding Tarn. We'll give them both sleeves. Murktide, both versions is 30-ish, dang, that's crazy. I know Voidwalker's a good hit. I know Tarn is too. That was a amazing pack. Congratulations, Myth. I will add these to your box. You are doing well, sir. Still haven't seen Jeremy in chat, so we'll move on to the next person. Anthony Davis, thanks for stopping in. Like I said, if you guys want something sleeved, just let me know. I'll take care of it. Is Bobby Z here? I don't think I've seen him yet. Talamar, good to see you. Hope you are uh, recovering. Good 
Oh, Bobby C is here. He said, nice pack. Duh. Okay, let's get Bobby C done then. Three Modern Horizons, two set packs, and three Strixhaven set. Can you skip you for a person? Guillermo, do you want me to skip you too? Because then if so, we're to MTG Landhead. Feeling a lot better? That's awesome. Glad to hear it. Not a problem, Myth. I don't see Guillermo talking, so we're just going to skip to Landhead. Guillermo finally shows up and says skip. Let's open up this Time Spiral box. I feel like the camera's just not in the right spot. You're going to have to bear with me for a second, guys. Trying to get this all situated so things work smoothly for the stream. Normally it's not a problem, but for whatever reason it has been tonight. Um, that doesn't really ship very well, but... I guess I will... Oh, do you mean the Time Spiral Wrapper? Yeah, I could probably do that. Do you want all of them or just the Time Spiral one? And are you talking about the clear wrapper or the pack wrapper? I'll just have to see if they fit in there. But anyway, I have to mix these up, so let's get that taken care of. Just the Time Spiral pack. Yeah, I could do that, that's not a problem. So many packs. Where they stop, nobody knows. Booster pack game. Landhead, do you want to pick your packs or roll the dice? Tank Niner, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Money is nice to have. Gotta make sure you hold on to some of it, though. Don't spend it all. Also gonna need Jumpstart and Commander Legends. Middle, middle. Um, how about here? We'll do right here, I guess. Or we'll count. So middle's gonna be 18, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Okay, so we got the middle on that. Um, Jumpstart says we had 22, so you'll be 11, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, so these two. You'll just have to remind me of that land head. And it looks like we have to crack Commander Legends box as well. Yeah, I got you two Jumpstarts. Oh no guys, we got an air box. We have two inserts. Whatever shall we do? Throw them away. Be nice if we got double the amount of packs too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, they're all there. Means double the pipers. Okay, 
Packs going everywhere. Getting set up to watch stream. Second COVID shot has you messed up. Sorry to hear that, Tank Niner. Um, we'll get to yours next, and then after that, we'll go back to Bobby. Uh, he wants the middle, so two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Okay, here we go. So I don't know which shot you guys got. Um, I got Moderna, and uh, my second shot was not bad. I was just really tired. I slept for 12 hours straight after I got that. So good luck to MTG Landhead. Thanks for supporting the stream. If you guys haven't checked out his channel yet, be sure to do that. Remind me to keep that time spiral pack for you, bud. Um, so we're going to skip through the comments here unless we see something spicy, which I do not. Foul uh, Flight, Volcanic Torrent, Demonic Lore. Let's see what you get. Coercive Recruiter and Orc Pirate. Tago Goblin Weaponsmith, Tuya Bearclaw. Foil Crow of Dark Tidings. Real question is, do we have a Piper? We do not. We just have a copy token. First shot, her arm was sore, had to sleep on the other side. Yeah, the first shot, my arm was really sore. This is backwards compared to what I'm used to opening, so that's a bit weird. Sorry to hear that, Dark Raven. That is not fun, Tank Niner. Hope you feel better. You got a Legions pack here. So your rare is Glorious Anthem. And then you got the very cool Legions land there. So that's your first pack of Jumpstart. No other real highlights in that pack. Sorry to hear that, Daniel. Hopefully uh, you're over that. Chris the no-shot kind of guy. May the odds be ever in your favor, sir. My wife's a nurse. We thought about not getting it, but we ended up deciding to get it. You got pirates. That's a cool one. Love the land in this one. Corsair Captain. Charter Course is a pretty cool uncommon. And then you get the very cool pirate ships floating above the island. And your M21 lands as well. I can go slow for the time spiral, not a problem. Cool to hear that crap caster. Looks like this pack's gonna wanna split down the back. Um, try to save it as much as I can, but it is uh, very flimsy. But we'll get these back to you. Starting out with a Dream Stalker, Empty the Warrens, Spike Tail Drakeling, Dark Withering, Green Seeker, Search for Tomorrow, Errant Doomsayers, Rift Bolt, Amru Seekers, Gem Hide Sliver, Might Sliver, nice, two slivers, Dusk Rider Peregrine, Basalt Gargoyle, Benelish Commander is your rare. You also got Rampunap Ruins. Um, interesting card. And then a Griffin token. So I hope you got some hits you can use, Landhead. I will uh, put these back in the pack for you and get you a box started. Oh, forgot to get your name card. We'll get that taken care of now. The Tank Niner here in just a second. We'll need Bobby C in just a second. No, I made a landhead card. Where is it? Apparently, Bobby has two cards. There's landhead. Um, let's see. That's smart, Raven. No, it affects different people differently. At least the Griffin is new. Very cool. Let 
That stinks, Talmar. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, Lane Head, they're not always amazing, but uh, it is what it is. Let's get Tank Niners packs opened up next since uh, he's not feeling well. Then we'll get back to Bobby Z. Tank Niner got two Kaldheim set, two Strixhaven set, and the Commander Legends. Odds left, evens right. Two, so two Kalheim set from the right. Yeah, um, I've heard that that card does not make you friends. Good luck to Tank Niner for multiple people. Make sure these are the set packs. I'm 99% sure they are. They are. Odds left, evens right. 15, two from the left. And then one Commander Legends. Blown through the order sheet pretty quick, so if anybody else uh, Wants to get some packs, now would be a good time to get an order in. Odds left, evens right. Head over to CoffinCards.com. 20, one from the right. Good luck to you, Tank Niner. Let's see what you get. James has a good feeling about this. Ryan says, pull the fire. Very cool, Landhead. I'll hold your box until you tell me to ship. You got quite, um, quite a few cards that you can fit in there, so that is up to you. Starting out with Burning Anger, Scholar of the Ages, Hero's Blade, we have a Mythic. Sphinx of the Second Sun. Congratulations on that mythic hit, Tank Niner. You got Armix, Malcolm Kenai Navigator, and a Foil Rare Laboratory Drudge. Card's not amazing, but the foiling's pretty cool with that uh, middle of his chest lighting up. And then a copy token. Chip when it's full sounds good. Let's try to wrap up by 9.30. Let's go, people. Let's go. Strict saving set pack next. I do hope you're feeling better, Tank Niner. Not that you want to necessarily go to work, but I'm sure you don't want to call out either. Um, got a gold art sign, teach by example, so that's pretty cool. That Sphinx is a tough pull. Bobby only has two. Bobby's opened quite a few boxes too. Got an island, reduced to memory, beaming defiance, infused with vitality, hunt for specimens, unwilling ingredient. Novice Dissector, Biograph, Explosive Welcome, Strixhaven Stadium. It's been an interesting card. Hasn't seen a ton of play, though. Brainstorm. That's pretty useful. Foil Silver Coil Apprentice, and a minigame card. Got a Selfless Glyph. Weaver, I think is the name. Yep. This time we're going to go ahead and skip to Uncommon. So have Clever Luminancer, Venerable Warsinger, Wandering Archaic. That's a great rare to hit. One of the more valuable rares in the set here. Urza's Rage. Not super excited about that. Used to be amazing back in Invasion, though. Foil Introduction to Annihilation and an Add Card Boo. Two Kaltheim packs up next. A Dwarf Berserker token in the back, so no less card here. Priciest rare in the set. We have a Quakebringer art card. That's a mythic right there. Snow covered planes and foil. Always nice to get a foil snow covered card. Uncommon start with Crush the Weak. These set packs, you never know where they're going to start. Maha, Bredegard Protector, Bredegard Stronghold, Fall of the Imposter, Glorious Protector for your rare, Cosmos Elixir for another rare. That one can be fun to play. Vega the Watcher, Foil Vengeful Reaper, 
and that Dwarf Berserker token. Glyph Weaver is a sleeper after rotation. It's really good in the Artifact Pod 2020 Mono White deck. That would make sense. I see Manolith token in the back here, so unfortunately no list cards for Tank Knight tonight. We have Miss Walker in the front. They're standard on Arena, but unfortunately you have to build a collection there, and that can get pricey if you don't have a lot of time to play. Here's is your first uncommon, Judge of Valor. Renegade Reaper, that's one of those Steam Booster cards. Hailstorm Valkyrie. Vengeful Reaper, which is not Renegade Reaper. King Narfi's Betrayal is your rare. Uncommon Showcase, Fin the Fang Bear. Foil Despair Sentinel, that's seen a lot of play lately. And I see Manolith tokens. So Tank Niner, hope you're happy with a few of those hits. Add these to your box. Wish you well. Thanks for supporting the stream. Hope you are feeling better soon, but get some sleep. So now we're going to circle back to Bobby Z. Now that he is available. Still haven't seen Jeremy in chat tonight. Hmm. Let me fix this formula real quick, guys. Time spirals all messed up on me. It's not keeping inventory right. Just one second. Super weird that that's showing up in a different color. Let me get that taken care of real quick. And there we go. Let's get Bobby's packs. Jeremy said he has a pretty busy day at work today, so I might just have to open his packs. He'll catch up later on the stream. So on this order, Bobby's getting three Modern Horizons 2 set packs and three Strixhaven set packs. Let's roll to see which packs he gets. Odds left, right's even. 13, three from the left, leaving one pack left in the box. And that pack has a... Uh, oh, I'm sorry, these four packs are Jeremy's packs. That's why I'm getting everything messed up. Bobby gets a fresh box. Jeremy also gets one of these left packs. Let's see if he gets the front and the back. Odds left, evens, right. 13, so that would have been front left, so that didn't change anything anyway. Then we need to get uh, Bobby's packs. 24 watchers, 25. Thanks for stopping by guys. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Crack a box of Modern Horizons 2 for Bobby Z. debacle is a conundrum or well no it's more like I don't know debacle is not google it do I accept Venmo you know that's one I don't have yet I have Zelle I have PayPal and I have Cash App I can look into Venmo um, but it'll have to be after the stream
I'm not opposed to taking Venmo. I just have to look into it and see how it works. See if there are fees, stuff like that. Well, if you can't Google, sir, you're going to have a hard time in life. It's just the facts. Mix the packs around. Webster Dictionary, then. Is that still a thing? Checking the back end real quick. Okay. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Here we go. Odds left, evens right. Seven. It's three from the left. Lucky number seven of that. If we lose all electricity on Earth. Dictionary is the last thing I would need. Bobby is here, right? Are people on Discord because my comp keeps beeping at me? No, it's mine. I forgot to mute it. Sorry. You could burn it for warmth also. True. Odds left, evens right. Six, three from the right. Bobby says F the dictionary. That's some colorful language. Do a strict save in first for you, Bobby. While we're doing that, a little birdie told me that uh, that Modern Horizons 2 collector pack that they wanted to give away at 50 concurrent viewers or 1,000 subscribers, they said, what the heck, let's just do it tonight. So, type exclamation point thanks to our mystery donor to get in on the Modern Horizons 2 Collector Pack giveaway. Leave that open for a little bit. Nova Surfer, if you want to get in on the giveaway, you're going to have to head over to YouTube and do it on YouTube. Because um, I have it running through a chat bot. So if you head to youtube.com slash coffin cards, click on the live stream. Uh, it's up to six cards from the pack, shipped to the United States or Canada now. Um, if you want to pay for upgraded shipping, I can send you everything. And there's nobody else who uh, has won already tonight, so whoever it rolls gets it. United States or Canada. I have an art card. Bobby, do you need these art cards from Strixhaven? I actually don't know which one this is. Torrent Sculptor. It's because it's a rare. Mountain. Expand Anatomy. Heated Debate. Let's get through these commons pretty quick. Ardent Thus Speaker. Elemental Expressionist is your rare. Lead Spellbinder for a second rare. Nice. No Strix. Okay. God's Willing for a rare Mystical Archive. A Flow Witherbloom Campus. And a pest token. So we'll send you the Rares Mystical Archive from that pack. Let's see what you get in the second one. If you want to get in on that Modern Horizons 2 Collector Pack, exclamation point. Um, thanks. Make your mark. You do need that. Or no, this is still Strict Saving. So we'll get through these commons real quick. Don't know where the uncommon start burst Mario Apprentice, so you have a chance at expressive iteration. Creative outburst that is not expressive iteration. Spell satchel, Auric lore mage, not the best rare. Shock, mystical archive, foil stonebound mentor, 
and an elemental token. So we'll say the Mystical Archive and Rare out of that pack. On to the third pack. Marcus, I'm actually collecting a set, so if it's something I don't have, I'll be happy to include it in yours. Um, otherwise, I'm probably going to hold on to those. Pack 2 is not the best. That is a correct statement. Inquisition of Cosmic Art Card. See if we get another Prismari. Ooh, we get another Prismari run in the Uncommons. Nails for Muse, Snow Day. Whoops, put those in the wrong pile. See if we get the Expressive Iteration. Prismari Apprentice, Creative Outburst, everything but Expressive Iteration. Tempted by the Ori Grayer. Defiant Strike Mystical Archive, Foil Frost Trickster, and an Elemental Token. Somebody has a spare onyx, Professor Onyx, onyx for whoever wanted to trade for that. It was close, so now we're going to Modern Horizons 2 where Bobby is looking for, I assume, fetch lands and a monkey. He'd much rather have the monkey though. So good luck to you, hopefully we get the monkey. Dress Down is the art card here, we'll send that one to you. Hop through these commons pretty quick. Got Uncommon Skyblade Spoon. Underworld Cookbook. Filigree Attendant. Thought Monitor for your rare. That's not a bad hit at all. Seal of Cleansing. Underworld Cookbook again. Foil Silver Bluff Braves. I'll send that to you. I know you like those um, foil artifact lands. Last chance, guys, if you want to get in on that giveaway, exclamation point, thanks. Got a list card here, so that's always fun. Now that we're past the error box, thank goodness. Double cookbook, indeed. Got a pretty cool squirrel art card right there. Skip through these comments. Thraben Watcher, Flame Tongue Yearling, Search the premises for your rare. Mog Salvage, Jade Avenger, Foil Razor Tide Bridge, so you got another Foil Bridge. And then Worn Power Stone, send that to you as well for your list card from Urza's Saga. Comes into play tap, tap it, add two colorless mana to your mana pool, play this ability as a mana source. Costs three to get it into play. Um, if the retro cookbook's over a dollar, be happy to send it to you. I'd heard it had come down, so. I've not checked that, but if uh, you want that, Bobby, let me know. Be happy to send it to you. Glimmer Baron is your art card. Looking for that monkey. Monkey, where are you? Graceful Restoration, Glorious Enforcer, Suspend. Not a monkey, but not bad. Zurin Orb, Nested Shambler, Foil Scophos Reaver, and a Magic Minigame card. One of the squirrel art cards. That would be pretty cool, Tank Niner. Add these to your pile, Bobby. We will get to your uh, Modern Horizons 2 collector in a bit. So back from the very first... Those packs were, I guess. Yeah, they weren't the best. Um, but that happens sometimes. You also pull some fire sometimes, so you win some, you lose some. I think you've come out ahead on the stream so far. This is the pack from the box. Let's see if we're going to take it from the front left or the back right. This was from the very first pack of Modern Horizons 2 Collector Boosters. We started opening on the stream. That went way off the table. Three, so we're going to take it from the left. This is the left pack here. The left pack of one. Next time, Bobby 100% says Myth. Packs with cards. Packs definitely have cards. Yes, they did. Bobby got plenty of cards. Um, so, Bobby, appreciate you supporting the stream as always. Sorry you didn't hit the monkey tonight, but you still have a chance. Let's see who wins this collector pack. We're gonna close the giveaway. Everybody's in there once. We have a winner. Chris Walker, you have got to be kidding me. Congratulations, Chris Walker. You always seem to win, bud. But, uh, congratulations. 
I don't know if I made a card for you or not. I don't think I did. Guess I didn't. Get you a slip. Dude wins everything. He does win everything. Congratulations. The legendary RNG. Pull some fire. Congrats. Good stuff. I'll add these uh, to your growing pile, Chris. See what you get. So just give the first giveaway of each stream to Chris. It works that way sometimes. Shattered Ego, Arcbound Prototype, Jade Avenger, Breathless Knight, Goblin Trap Runner, Hunting Pack, got an Etch Swamp. Let's see what the good stuff is. Hearth of the Lion Extended Art, not the best, but it's free, so that's good. Floodhound, Full Art Fury, that's a pretty card right there. Jade Avenger Showcase, Terminal Agony. This is what happens when I get a bad hand on Arena. Chatterstorm, Old Border Etched. Patriarch's Bidding, uh, this is the Onslaught New to Modern Etched card. Then a Goblin Engineer Foil, Modern Horizons 1 Old Border card. So congratulations, Chris, I will add these to your pile. Uh, we all need to change your names to Chris. Yes, you do. Headler says F. It was free. It wasn't bad. The token was a food bird token. You saw the bird when we opened the pack. You saw the food when we finished the pack. You like food. A lot of people like food. Food is a good thing. Guillermo, do you want to go now or do you want to wait? I saw your back again. I'd be thrilled I didn't pay for that one. Yeah, I mean the full full art fury is cool. The goblin engineer is cool, especially in the old border foil. Miss Miss Mrs. Tasting food. Chris did win. You are correct, Dane. Uh, but we will see. Who else wins tonight? Go now is cool. Okay, so we have Guillermo with Modern Horizons Two Collector and a Commander Legends pack. So, I'm going to finish out the second um, Modern Horizons 2 collector box. Let's see if you're getting your pack from the front left or the back right. Odds front left, evens back right. Nine front left pack right here. Bidding at one point was a $35 card. Happy to see reprint. Let's throw away this box. Um, and Commander Legends. Roll the dice to see what you get here. Odds left, evens right, 20. I've not seen how much the Expedition Dark Slick Shores the Spike to. What makes it so expensive? Is there a certain deck that's really working well? So let's see what Guillermo gets tonight. Let's get his card out, 45, dang. There's Guillermo's card right there. Good luck, Guillermo. Thank you for supporting the stream as always. Let's see what we find you tonight. Command Tower, not bad. Vow of Duty. Kumbaj Witches, Dreamstone Hedron, and we have a rare Promise of Tomorrow, Tormod the Desecrator, Amrith Lustrous, so you got a double rare pack, Foil Anointed Valor, cool foil with the way it lights up, and a treasure token. The treasure must be hiding in the Modern Horizons 2 collector pack. Let's see what Guillermo gets. Looks like we might be done early tonight, guys. Have uh, two more orders after this one. If you want to get your orders in, now would be a great time to do so. Head on over to CoffinCards.com. Loathsome Curator. Mind Collapse. Step Through. Gargadon. Scour the Desert. Young Necromancer. 
Edge Swamp, here's where the good stuff starts. Yavimaya, Cr Yavimaya Cradle of Growth, extended art, nice rare there. Marcus ordering shortly, very cool, Marcus. No rush, just uh, trying to let people know that if we keep the queue filled, always makes things go a little faster. Late to dinner. Dakon, Shadow Slayer, Borderless, right there, nice hit. So you got a Mythic. Foil Gargadon, did we just get a Gargadon? Nope, late to dinner. Gargadon must have been another pack. Weather the Storm, Old Border Foil from Modern Horizons 1. Log Salvage etched. Dang, Guillermo, you've got to be kidding me. Last pack of the box. Um, foil etched, Force Negation. I don't know if you guys can see it. It looks like there's a line that goes right through that mana symbol and then down the card. Like right here. It's like a white line. I don't know if that's supposed to be there. It's kind of strange. I think this is one of those ones we should just like rip in half and pretend it never happened, right? You don't want this. It's not any good. Just like maybe set it on fire or something. <sighs> Mana symbols crossed out because it's free to cast. Ronnie can see the line. Big hit, still good. Um, Guillermo, do you want me to give you the pack so you can make a claim with Watsi on that? Oh, you also got a Necrogoyf. I forgot there's more cards in the pack. Doesn't even matter. The Force. Let's see if it shows up in the sleeve any better. You can kind of see it, it's really faint. You gotta get it right at the right angle. It's like right there. Just barely to the right of the art. It kind of looks like the text box frame, but it keeps going. Maybe it is just the text box frame. And it goes up through the mana symbol. I don't know, you can look at it when you get it. Think he needs the code on the box itself? Well, he could have just bought a pack from his LGS. The code on the pack should work fine. It's still playable. It is very playable. Congratulations, Guillermo. We're gonna have to figure out what to do with all your top loaders, bud. I don't know what you're gonna, how you're gonna want me to ship those, but we'll figure that out later. Um, there is a number on this pack somewhere. Yeah, it's on here. I'll include the pack in your box. Woo! Yeah, boy. You also got a Necrogoyf extended art foil and a squirrel thopter token. Congratulations, Guillermo. That was a nice hit. I would say that's a good trade, Crapcaster. Okay, well that was crazy. Good news is that was the last pack of that box, so you guys don't have to worry about the rest of the packs being bad. Not that that's really a thing anyway, but some people think so. Um, I did get something from Tyler. He is Shiny Hunter Tyrus. Um, he sent me this card and some cards. It says, from a tiny sprout, the greatest trees grow and flourish. May the seeds of your mind be equally fruitful. That's actually flavor text from Elvish Visionary. It said, enjoy the cards. Just send out random cards. He posted on Facebook. It said, send me your address. I'll send you cards. So I got a forest signed by him. Sweet Island, a Sweet Theros Plains, and Mythic Fury from Modern Horizons 2. Foil Scuttle Tide and Foil Captured by Legax. So I thought that was pretty cool of him. Thought I'd shout him out on stream for that. So thank you very much to... Uh, Shiny Hunter Kyrus, I think. His name's Tyler. Very cool. He actually won a giveaway last, um, last, uh, uh, 
a side by side off stream. Um, yeah, I can remind me later. I'll do that. Traded away Vampiric Tutor for two lands. That's uh, that's kind of sad. So next up is Darnell. Darnell, are you present? Paging Darnell. Hey Peddler, you want my foil Phyrexian Swamp? That's what Talmar's saying. I'm sure Peddler wants it. I don't think that's even a question. Got a pack of Modern Horizons 2 collectors here. A box, I should say. With 12 packs. Last time. What do you mean last time, Emergency Draft? Did I miss something? Gotta wait till your secret lair gets here. I heard it's gonna be a while. Gotta mix up these packs thoroughly. Darnell is here. Let's get Darnell a pack. Darnell, you wanna roll? Oh, I don't know. My uh, my brain must not be functioning. Anyway, roll for Darnell. Let's see what he gets. Odds front left, evens back right. Got a 14. That's the back right pack. Good luck, Darnell. Let me get your card out. Good luck to Darnell. Thanks for supporting the stream, Darnell. I do appreciate it. Let's see what you get. Modern Horizons 2 Collector Booster for Darnell. Peddler says good luck. Starting out with a Lose Focus, Guardian Kirin, Jeweled Eyed Cobra, Chrome Courier, bringing me my packs, Kaleida Scorch, Combine Chrysalis, Etched Island, here we get to the good stuff. Calibrated Blast Extended Art, pretty cool artwork right there. Abundant Harvest, Extended Art, Mythic Solitude, that's a beautiful looking card right there. Not sure if this is one of the good ones or not, but Myth is happy about seeing an island there. Also have a Foil Lens Flare, followed up by Foil Goblin and Archomancer. The best incarnation, very cool. Seal of Cleansing, that's etched. This looks really weird and etched, not my favorite. Out of Time etched. And a foil old border persists. So we'll get that uh, solitude sleeved up for you. Sounds like it's the best one out of the five. Hopefully you're happy with that solitude. Either you can put it in a deck or find somebody who's willing to trade for it. 24 bucks, not bad at all. Congratulations on the hits. I think overall. Probably came pretty close to the value of that pack. You've got your pile started for tonight and we'll add that to your box, Darnell. Bobby, are you still around? You're up next for another Modern Horizons 2 collector. I think Grief and Subtle DLC the most play. That is possible. Bobby's here. Let's roll. You 
Anthony, I did get your email. I will check into um, Venmo, but it won't be during this stream. So odds will be front left, evens will be back right. Let's see what you get. Seven, lucky number seven, front left. Got his futon up in the attic and pieces today I'm putting together watching on the iPad. Sounds thrilling. Hope it's not too difficult to put together. Hopefully this provides you some entertainment. So uh, let's get opening this for Bobby Z. After this, we'll open Jeremy's packs since he's not here and nobody else is in line. And then after that, it'll be open to whatever. Just hang out and chat, I guess. It's been a long time since we haven't had a line on this stream. Starting out with Tragic Fall, Mount Velis Manticore, Cabal Initiate, Mental Journey, Sanctuary Raptor, Feasts of Sanity, and Etched Forest, Esmora Nomartica Diced in a Kuldakar, Extended Art, Aether Sworn Sphinx, Priest of Felrites at or Sketch, Ornithopter of Paradise. I know you like that one, Bobby. We'll send that one to you too. Ravenous Squirrel, Sketch, Scale Up, Old Border Etched. We're looking for that squirrel. We'll check the battle in just a second. Piru the Volatile, not what you want to see in your rare slot. But you got a Mythic Foiled, the first sliver. That is something you want to see, I believe, in your Mythic slot. Foil Old Border. Very cool. Definitely prefer the foil over the etched. Pretty cool card right there. Get that in the sleeve for you, Bobby. Did I ever read the sketch flavor text? No, we'll go back and do that right now. I mean, I have in the past, but not recently. Action, this is a squirrel who eats everything. Intent, most Esper Sphinx Sphinxes have minimal filigree enhancements, but this Sphinx has been extensively enhanced. This is the only sketches we had in this one, but it's pretty cool. It's like the artist's direction. 23 bucks, not bad, not bad. Plus you have Esmora Nomartica diced in a Kuldakar. Do you want your etched lands, uh, Bobby? I know you don't care about the other foil commons and uncommons. You need scale up in the forest? Cool, cool. We'll send those to you as well. Um, the rest of them I'll just add to the bulk pile. pile. You did not get a squirrel token, you got a treasure beast token. So if you want that, let me know. Otherwise, I'll be going to the bulk pile. Not a problem, Bobby. Thank you for supporting the stream. Add these to your pile. Uh-oh. Guillermo wants to get in on the fun. Another Modern Horizons 2 collector. I did sign a squirrel token for you. It is in your box. Check that battle sign up. Um, I haven't heard back from Lord Debacle. I have to name it. What do you mean name it? And you'll use it on your deck in stream. Okay. Like name it Joe or something. I have four people in the Commander Legends battle. I have not heard from Lord Debacle. If Lord Debacle has said yes somewhere, please let me know. But otherwise, I only have four people in the battle. We would need a fifth. So if anybody wants to get in on a Commander Legends box battle, let me know it's $29 plus shipping. How does this degeneracy work? 
Jake and Joel, hope you're doing well. Um, it's on the Discord. Exclamation point Discord will get you there. Uh, basically, box battles, the way they work is you get to keep the cards you open. Um, you have to pay for shipping. I send up six cards in a plain white envelope for a dollar. All your rares, mythics, and anything worth over a dollar uh, for five bucks. Or you can fill up a 400 card box for uh, $9 and that'll ship all your cards. But basically, we take all the rares and mythics and foil rares and foil mythics and add up the mana cost and the person with the highest and lowest win two packs. It's 29 bucks and each person gets four packs of Commander Legends and then uh, plus shipping, so. Is that Jake or Joel? This is crazy. Not sure which one, but that's how the degeneracy works. Bobby says, fire it, he'll send it now. Cool. So I need Guillermo, uh, Chris, Marcus, and um, Pac Menace to send $29. And we'll get that battle going. So that's Guillermo, my Bronco, Hootie, Pac Menace. I have emergency draft in here now. Well, that's interesting. Bobby, I think uh, Emergency Draft got you beat. Because uh, they actually signed up the proper way. Collector packs do get opened. Uh, you can head to coffincards.com and there's a form on the page. You fill out the form and then uh, Bobby can have Guillermo spot, that works. Okay, so Bobby has, no, it's all right. Bobby's got it, Guillermo's gonna back down. We'll, uh, we'll get all this sorted out in a second, guys. So Bobby is in, my Bronco, Hootie, Pac-Man, it's an emergency draft. Sounds cool, Pac-Man, appreciate it. You can have a dollar credit in the Coffin Card store. Anyway, sorry I got distracted, Jake. Um, you head to CoffinCards.com. There's a form on the page. There's a video at the top that explains how it all works. You don't want to battle Guillermo. Yeah, so Guillermo's not gonna be in there. I was going to now out because I can't take his money. Bobby, already got your money. You're in this. Too bad. Um... Anyway, sounds good, Marcus. If you just fill out the pack of time spiral on the form and the battle I will take care of. Um, but you fill out the form and then you send payment by PayPal, friends and family, or um, someone you trust to carthencards at gmail.com. I also have Cash App. I have Zelle, but it's not listed on there. And I'm going to be looking into Venmo, I guess. At least you're not battling Chris. That is no lie. So, um, let me look and see who's paid. So I have Bobby Z. I have Pac Menace. I have Emergency Draft. I have Chris Smith. And then Marcus is working on it. So let me get everybody's cards ready for that. So we have Marcus, we have Pac Manus, we have Chris Smith, we have. Who did I get? Emergency Draft and Bobby Z. We have Bobby Z, Emergency Draft, Christmas, Pac-Menace, and uh, 
Marcus. Think you get better pulse opening them yourself? Everybody has their methods. Well, while we're waiting for um, Marcus's payment to come through, let's open up Guillermo's collector pack. We're out of spots for this one, RT Hayes. Um, we have enough for we have enough boxes to do another one, um, but you'd have to get four more people. Why would you let someone else open your packs? Well, people have fun doing it, I guess. I mean, it's like a cool community thing. Everybody gets to celebrate the big hits together. But some people prefer to do it themselves, and there's no problem with that at all. Guillermo's down with RT Hayes. We would need three more. Um... So if you guys want to like mention that in the box battle chat, looks like Talamar might be interested as well. It's about the rituals, says Jake. Jake's got a good set of rituals going on with foil quest. If you guys haven't checked out Jake or Joel, Jake and Joel are magic yet. I don't know what you guys are waiting for. They're like a million times bigger than I am and they're super cool. So uh, make sure to go check them out over on YouTube. Jake and Joel are magic. Honestly, it's fun, and when you get them in the mail, it's like opening them yourself again. Haven't had that experience myself. I don't send myself cards, but uh, I can definitely see how that would be the case. They're very lame. I hate those guys, says Bobby C. Well, maybe you're just not a good fit for Jake and Joel or Magic. I know he's just kidding, but. Saves us money on trash bags too. That it does. Saves you money on trash bags. That's the best reason I've heard yet. Let's, uh, still waiting on Marx's payment to come through. Marx, if you sent that, please let me know and where you sent it from and I'll take a look again. Bobby Z fist bump. Get Guillermo's pack open. Guillermo, you're still here. We'll roll the dice for you. Let's see what we get on this Modern Horizons 2 collector pack. Odds front left, evens back right. Number one. Ones are lucky here at Cotham Cards. Let's hope Guillermo pulls some fire. Yeah, so... Uh, Jake, if you go to CawthonCards.com, there's a video at the top that explains how the process works. Um, you scroll down on the site and there's a Google form. You fill out the Google form with all your information. And then basically that'll tell you how much it costs and give you the different shipping options, all that stuff. Marcus sent payment. Great, let's check. I see it, thank you, Marcus. We'll, uh, we'll get that. Started in just a second. There's a video you can watch, Jake Joel will explain it. Also very cool. Um, yeah, but you fill out the form, you hit submit, that sends all the information to me and you will pop up on the schedule on the website. It might take a minute to refresh, uh, but it'll pop up on my side down here. And then I just check to make sure your payment came through and then I will open your pack on stream. Jade Avenger, Gargadon, Loosome Curator, Mirror Scrappling, Young Necromancer, Blossom and Calm, got an Edge Swamp, this is what Guillermo is hoping for next, let's see what he gets, Timeless Dragon, Extended Art, it's a timeless card, you can eternalize it, Faithless Salvaging, 
Harmonic Prodigy Sketch. He's hoping something good pops up. Foil Garganon. Foil Marble Gar Marble Gargoyle Old Border. Yavamaya Elder Sketch. Cards Aligned Ash. Come on, this last slot better be fire. The rare, number 371, is a sketch moderation. I said, you know what? You got that uh, negation. We're going to give you some moderation in your next pack. Sorry about that pack, uh, Guillermo. But I think overall you're still ahead for the night. That was a painful pack. But as always... I appreciate your support. Now that uh, Marcus has got his payment in, let's go ahead and get this battle started, guys. Can't win them all. Unfortunately, you cannot. So we have Bobby Z, Emergency Draft, Chris Smith, Pac Menace, and Marcus H in this battle. Let's see what slots you're going to get. This time we're going to shuffle the packs up and then we're just going to take them from left to right across. No dice rolling. Good luck, guys. Get the Lotus. Don't own any force. I don't either. You're not alone. Let's see what order you're in. Mark's going to take first spot. Pac Menace, Emergency Draft, Chris Smith, followed up with Bobby Z at the end. Let's get this uh, switched over to battle mode. Hey, look, we can see all the cards now. So, um, we went over the rules earlier, but I have a full box of Commander Legends right here. We'll get this shuffled up. Once they're shuffled up, we will give people packs from the left side of the box going across. Each person gets four packs, and then the high mana cost and the low mana cost winners each get two packs for prize packs. We take the mana costs of all the rares and mythics, including any foil rares or mythics. There are no set cards, so we don't have to worry about those here. Let's dump this box out. Get everything shuffled up. Get our packs distributed, and then we'll get started. This is so much better than watching all my red stocks. Stocks not doing well? That is unfortunate. I thought the markets had a good day today, but maybe... I mean, obviously, that's the market as a whole, not any individual companies. Unless you're talking about your whole breachers, then those, those definitely took a hit today. Those would be very red stocks. Hopefully nobody got stuck with a big position of those. That would be unfortunate. Waiting on your third Vampiric Tutor. This is Dark Raven. I had to say it, huh? I did. Sorry, Myth. Okay, so these are shuffled up. We're going to have the first four packs go to Marcus H. The next four go to Pac Menace. Four to Emergency Draft. Four to Chris Smith. And then four to Bobby Z with four in the prize pool. Good luck to everybody. We'll open up three packs. I'll leave the fourth pack for some suspense. Um, I need a pen. I have foil extended hole breacher. So sad. Yeah. Guillermo says hole breacher needed to go though. Hole breacher ban is just ridiculous. Yeah, you have to wonder how they choose what to ban because there's so many ways you can go about banning stuff. Um, starting out with Marcus. Good luck, Marcus. Thank you for supporting the stream. Thanks for everybody who got this battle to fire. Super excited to do another battle tonight. Always a blast. Let's get to what you want to see. Horizon Scholar Hunter's Insight to Meteor Golem, so no spicy uh, uncommons. Ember Wild Captain, Alharu Arumi, or however you say that, Strategic Planning Foil and Elf Warrior Token. So starting out with a four, not super high, no double or triple rares. Tank Niner traded both his whole breachers last week. Smart move, Tank Niner. Good luck to everybody cracking here, says Jake.
Mindless Automaton is your first uncommon in this pack, Marcus. Burning Anger, Reclamation Sage. Rikshasa Debaser, that's a six hit. Armix, Malcolm, and a foil coastline Marauders with a Prismatic Piper that make Landhead happy, and a Monarch token. Save one pack each for end. That is the plan, Marcus. That way there is some suspense. The first couple times I did a battle, I just went straight through, just to make sure we had all the battle stuff down, but now we have that done. Saving a pack for the end is not a problem at all. Command Tower, it's not bad. Face Fetters, Pen and Blade, Strength of the Pack, Sakashima Protege for another six. You have Arden, Amareth for another six, Foil Angel of the Dawn, and a Treasure Token. So in total so far, you have six, six, six is 18, and four is 22. So Marx is currently sitting at 22. Again, that's six, six, and six is 18, plus four is 22. Got one pack left for Marcus. Next up, we have Pack Menace. Good luck, Pack Menace. Hope you pull some fire. Opened a whole breacher on last week's stream. Put it in a deck two days ago. Taking it out now. So sad. Made the top 10 on Twitter searches. That's because the site crashed. If the site didn't crash, I don't think it would have been up there. But Let's see what Pack Menace gets. Return to Dust. Vow of Torment. Hero's Blade. Those are not rares. Promise of Tomorrow. Starting out with a 3. That's pretty low. You have Halana. Again, so that's another three. Gets you up to six. Foil Armillary Sphere. The Thrall Token. James can live with Myth not playing Hull Breacher. But can you live with Myth after Hull Breacher's been banned? That's a question. We'll have to ask his wife. I have a red foil in the back peeking out there. Null Collar, Sifter Worm, Merchant Raiders, Court of Cunning for another three. Three is a popular number for you. Kesket, Emoti, Foil Fiery Cannonade, and a Copy Token. Seems like so far you're going low at nine after two packs. The third pack for Pack Menace. Is that an uncommon? Make a Stand was an uncommon. Then we have Burnished Heart, Revenant, Sakashima's Will for four, Breaches, Yearlock for another four, Foil Rare, Jared, this does count, and an Elf Warrior Token. So let's see what Pack Menace is at. You didn't have a lot of high rares. But you had a lot of them. So you have 3 and 4 is 7, and 4 is 11. 11 and 3 is 14. 14 and 3 is 17. 17 and 3 is 20. Double count that again. 3, 6, 9. 9 and 4 is 13. 13 and 4 is 17. And 3 is 20. So Pac Menace is at 20. Currently in the low spot. Marcus is in the high spot at 22. Let's see who's next. R.I.P. the low. Yeah, you tried for a little bit. Everybody still has a pack left, mind you. So now we're on to Emergency Draft. Good luck, Emergency Draft. Thank you for supporting the stream. Four Lotuses in a row. That would be something, wouldn't it? Commander Sphere, not bad. Thirst for Knowledge. Might have saw a little something back there. Fencing Ace, Noxious Dragon. Immaculate Magistrate is your rare, but I have a feeling you have Mythic coming up. Kedis, Emberclaw, Familiar. I was right. Jessica, Thrice Reborn. Mythic rare, that gets you up to seven for this pack. It's a borderless at that. Foil Amorphous Axe and a Soldier Token. It's a nice Mythic hit right there. Those borderless ones are always fun to look at.
Valve Lightning, Frenzied Saddlebrute, Shimmerer Mirror, Nevin Rolls Disc for four. Blim Comedic Genius for another four. You might be going high. Lisa Shroud of Dusk for five. Foil Spark Harvest, Prismatic Piper, and a Spirit Token. So that was a big pack. James loves the Planeswalkers. Ronnie needs to pull that one. Scholar of the Ages, First Response, Victimize, Nightshade Harvester for four, Tago, Lathiel, it's another four, Triumphant Reckoning, Foil Mythic, nine. So right there in that pack, we had eight, 17. Soldier Token, we know Emergency Draft is going for that high spot. Let's see how many he has. Unfortunately, not the Foil Mythic you want to see. I think that's the better of the nine drop mythics, but still, it is not a jewel lotus. So we have nine, 13, 17, 22, 26, 30, 33, 37. Wow, let's count that again. It is a pretty card though. The green one's the best. I guess I was wrong. Four, seven, 11, 15, 20, 24, 28, 37. Wow. It's a big number there, emergency draft. 37. Well, let's see if uh, Chris Smith can take that. Any spicy hits been away for a few? Got a foil mythic. No, uh, none of the major money cards yet. Still have a lot of the box to go though. Daring Saboteur. Nadia's Nightblade. Sunset Pyramid. Elvish Dreadlord for five. Ragach, son of Ragach. Kanji Skywarden. Merchant Raiders and a treasure. So starting out with a five. That is pretty high emergency draft. Haven't hit any battle bond lands yet. That's kind of surprising. I feel like we're basically over halfway through the box. Let's see what we hit here. Lightning Rig Crew, Supreme Well, Sandstone Gargoyle, Elkite Courser Mythic, that's six. Ghost of Ramirez to Pedro Hamza. We got the etched art in the box. This one is Emoti. It's uh, uncommon though, so it does not count in the zombie token. Last pack for the first round for Chris. Looking for a Lotus, a Drain, a Vampiric Tutor, something big. Command Tower, nice. Null Caller, Furnace Celebration, Scaled Behemoth, Plague Reaver for three, Essior, Numa, Runaway Together Foil, and a Copy Token. So, counting up Chris's is going to be easy because he doesn't have a whole lot of stuff to count, unfortunately. We have a Plague Reaver, a Hellkite Corsair, and a Dreadlord. So, Five and six is 11, and three is 14. We'll double check everything at the end, make sure we didn't miss anything, but five and six is 11, and three is 14 for Chris. Got Pac Menace beat by quite a bit, but we still have one more pack to go. If you hit one of those nine drop mythics, that could take you out of it. Everybody's trying to organize another Commander Legends battle. That would be fun to do another one.
These packs are, sorry, Bobby Z. These are your packs, good luck. Thanks for supporting the stream. Valve Wildness, Coastline Marauders, Patron of the Valiant, Necrotic Hex for seven, going for the big spot it looks like. Brynlin, Falthus, Foil Entourage of Tress, and a Golem token. Gonna need more rares if you wanna get there. Everyone make sure to hit that thumbs up button, says Waffle Fries. Thank you very much, Waffle Fries, for the reminder. Definitely helps more people find the stream. If you're one of those new people, we're cracking packs, Mason. Um, if you head to CoffinCards.com, we're selling all these packs right here. I, sh I open them up and I ship them to you. If you have any questions, let me know. But we're doing a battle right now, so we need the full screen available to us. Um, basically, people are battling the rares and mythics, adding the converted mana cost together, and the highest converted mana cost and the lowest converted mana cost win extra packs. Mnemonic Deluge. A nine drop mythic, not the mythic you want to see. This is one of those nine drop boxes. Siani, Abomination, Boarding Party Foil, and the Elvish Warrior. So one more pack before we get to that final round. Just notice the discard bot misspelled Cawthorn. Huh? There's not a sign up for it, but if you guys just get it together in the box battle chat, that would be great. I don't have time to put one up while I'm streaming. That's why I try to get these organized beforehand when possible. Face fetters for your uncommon. Piece of succession. Arcane signet, not bad, not bad. Cotherm, great. Rejuvenating Springs. Finally got that Battle Bond land. Looks like there's a strange like line right here, but uh, I don't know. Congratulations on the land. That does not help you get to the high spot. Raja Elegith. That helps, but probably doesn't get you there. Prophetic Prism and a Monarch token. Go back and look at my shorts now, Darnell. When you watch them, you're probably one of the first people to watch them. Some of them have been getting quite a few views lately. So you got a 7 plus a 9. That's a 16. Plus 6 is 22. Because Rejuvenating Springs does not count. It is a land. So Bobby Z has 22. Time to go back to the beginning. All the way back to Marcus H. Let's see what you get. Good luck. will be in next week. Make sure Magic the Gathering Shorts is in the title. Thank you, Jake. I will check that out. I think I have MTG. I don't know if I have Magic the Gathering, but uh, if I don't, I will add that. Let me write that down so I don't forget. This is Marcus's final pack. 27 concurrent viewers, very cool. Thank you guys. First uncommon, Foul Flight, Mask of Memory, Guilt Leaf Winnower, Wrong Turn, oh no. Nadia's Nightblade, Thalise, Deranged Assistant, and Elf Warrior. Only good news in that pack was it only added three, so Marks is now at 25. He has a shot. Not sure uh, how amazing that shot is, but we'll find out after we're done here. Next up we have Pac Menace. Pac Menace has been hitting fire out of Commander Legends lately on stream. Just bang your head against the wall wondering why our shorts weren't in the hopper. That's interesting. Good to know. <laughs> Darnell. That might work. That's not only fans for magic, guys. It's only lands. Get it right. We have Volcanic Dragon for your first uncommon. Daring Saboteur. Dreamstone Hedron. Jessica's Will Rare. Nice. 
It's uh, one that's gone up in price since the sets come out. Slurk all ingesting, Kel's Sun main familiar, foil done to operative, and a golem token. That only adds three, so that puts Pac Manus at 23. Officially knocking Marcus out of the low spot for tonight. So Marcus, unfortunately, you will not win any extra packs, but I appreciate you supporting the stream. Next up we have Emergency Draft at 37 currently, looking to add to that total. Not a bad hit, happy to have another. Glad you're happy with that one. Your mom's a subscriber, but hey, that counts, right? It does. Let's see what we get here. Orzhov Advocus, I think's your first uncommon. It is. Cast down. Three visits, finally get a good uncommon here. Armored Skyhunter for four. Ick to kick. Averna the Chaos Bloom for another three. That adds seven. Haunted Cloak Foil and a Monarch token. So emergency drafts up to 44. You guys are going to have to have some monster packs to catch up. I don't think it's going to happen. I think the high spot is a given at this point. We will go back and make sure we didn't miss any rares. So next up we have Chris. Good luck, Chris. Hopefully we hit something good. Chris wants to stay low, so Jeweled Lotus, or a Mana Drain, or a Vampiric Tutor would all be great. Battle Bond Land would be good too. Interpret the Signs, Intangible Virtue. These are pretty miscut uncommons. You can see the print dot barely right there. They're really bad shifted um, that way. Pride of the Perfect. Coercive Recruiters, you rare for five. Radiance there, Archangel, not a rare. Bark the Thumbless is a rare, but it's only two. Trusty Pack Beast Foil and a Treasure Token. So that adds seven to your score, but only puts you at 21. Bobby's at 22, so you're going to take that low spot. We'll double check to make sure. Um, but as of now, you've got the low spot, unless we miscounted somewhere or missed a rare. 44 seems high. Seems like record for Commander Legends packs. It's definitely high. Bobby's he's got the last pack. He might not have won the bonus packs, but he's hoping to hit something good here. Let's see if we can find it for him. Humble Defector. Thought Vessel, not bad. Imperious Perfect. Port of Ambition, that's four. Anara Glacian. Foil Thirst for Knowledge and a Monarch Token. So adding four puts Bobby at 26. So Bobby's not going to be getting any bonus packs tonight. Bobby, thank you for filling that last spot. Let's make sure we didn't miss any rares or mythics real quick. There's no competition for emergency drafts. So uh, we're just going to give him the high spot. No point in double checking that. There was... Uh, no doubt in my mind that even if we miscounted by one or two, he is totally in the high spot. Bobby, I will add these to your pile. So, uh, Chris was in the low spot. Let's make sure that he did not miss any rares. Sorry for the boring part, guys. I want to make sure the battle's fair and everybody's prone to some human error from now time to time. Also verify his count while we're in his pile. What's the good word? Only two signups for battle number two in Discord. So we have Krark, Coercive, Plague, Hellkite, and Elvish Dreadlord. We have two and five is seven and three is 10, 10 and six is 16, 16 and five is 21. So 21 is the correct count. It's very clear that emergency draft got the high spot. So now let's take a look at Pac-Man. Let's make sure we count them right that we didn't miss anything. So get all the rares to the front. Hopefully everybody's having a good night tonight. If you have any questions about ordering packs and you wanna get in on it, let me know. Happy to answer any questions you have. 
appreciate you guys getting this battle off tonight. It's been a lot of fun. So Jessica's will is three. Jared is another three for six. Plus four is 10. Plus four is 14. Plus three is 17. Plus three is 20. Plus three is 23. So Pac Menace, we did get your score right. Fortunately, you did not win any bonus packs, but I appreciate you supporting the stream. You've done good with Commander Legends on the stream, just not tonight, unfortunately. Let's double check Marcus real quick. Marcus, one of the newer uh, pack buyers on this stream. Definitely appreciate it, Marcus. It's crazy early in the morning where he is right now. Did not miss any rares or mythics, and just double count, make sure he's got 25. Pre-ordered D&D, so you're a bit broke. Totally understand, Talmar. So three plus six is nine. Plus six is 15, plus six is 21, plus four is 25. So that was correct. Marcus, thanks for supporting the stream. Let's get these bonus packs out. I spot's gonna roll for the bonus packs. Left will be the left, or odds will be the left two, evens will be the right two. One, two for uh, emergency draft, and then two for uh chris so good luck guys let's see what you pull throw the box away lucky one hopefully this box has not had any of the major mythics yet hope to hit one of those in every box although unfortunately it does not always happen See what we get. Baron Storm Tamer, Confiscate, Kumbaj Witches, War Room, not bad, but not amazing. Miara, Jury, Foil Benevolent Blessing, and a Copy Token. We did get a Foil Rare and a Foil Mythic already. Let's see what the second pack is for Emergency Draft. Angie's Lieutenant, Brass Herald, Volcanic Torrent, Magus of the Order, not what you wanted, Prava, Colfinor, Foil Marble Diamond, and a Treasure Token. So no amazing hits there, but you did get a couple bonus packs added to your stack. Thanks for supporting the stream. We did get the etched already. It was uh, a Modi, I think. So now we have... Chris Smith with his two bonus packs for the low spot. Lotus is for Chris as emergency draft. Would like to see something good here. Command Tower, Codex Shredder, Grafted War Gear, Stinger Fling Spider, Acroma's Will, man, Captain Vargas, Dargo, Foil Blade Brand, Prismatic Piper, and Elf Warrior Token. One shot left. Streaming Commander would be cool. People do it all the time. I just don't have an amazing deck. In paper, unfortunately. Sentinel Spider, Commander Sphere, Trusty Pack Beast, and then Common Start with Open the Armory, Golem Artisan, Frenzied Saddle Brute. Well, that just popped out. Horizon Stone, Tormod, Jared, Oil Malcolm, and a Spirit Token. So no mana drain, no um, Vampiric Tutor. Wait, which one's in this one? Yeah, Vampiric Tutor. No Vampiric Tutor and no Lotus. That was rough. Hopefully the next box is better. This did come out of a sealed case, so hopefully that's good news for the rest of the case. That box was not very good. I will give that to you. No question there. So, let me do some back-end stuff real quick, get everything caught up, and uh, we will take care of some stuff.
So next up we have the collector pack for Myth. Hopefully that goes better than that, uh, that last box did, because that was not fun for Commander Legends. It was fun battle, don't get me wrong, but I was hoping we pulled some more spice there. Um, Zach, I see you ordered a Modern Horizons 2 collector. I haven't seen your payment come through yet. Let me know how you're paying and I will see if I can find that. Catch up with chat real quick. Glad you had fun emergency draft. There's a card in between the juju, so you don't have to worry about that, Bobby. Kind of makes Chris want to go again. Well, Chris, there is another battle forming in the Discord inbox battle chats. Looks like Zach's trying to pay by cash app. Let me log into my account real quick. Did I have a good weekend? It was good. Um, it was busy, but it was good. Zach and Marcus, I do not see Zach's uh, payment for that Modern Horizons 2 collector, but he's not up next. So if you guys just get that in before we get to you, that would be great. So Myth. Let's roll that dice. Guillermo got the bad pack out of the way for you. Let's see what you get. Odds will be front left, evens will be back right. No hole breacher is strange. Yeah, we normally pull hole breacher. 14 back right pack. I don't get the comment, Bobby. Am I missing something? Oh, opposition agent to the moon soon? Yeah, until they ban it. They should just ban Commander Legends. What do you think about that? Starting out with Echoing Return, Foul Watcher, Soul Migration, Tangle Pool Bridge, pretty bridge right there, Mog Salvage, Liquid Metal Torque, Etched Forest, Glad to hear you were there to talk to your friend, Chris. Sorry you missed the battle. It will be on replay, though. Bloodbraid Marauder for your extended art. Bloodhound. This is the first one we've hit. Congratulations, Myth. Man, that's a beauty right there. Let's get that in the sleeve. Hey, that's a win. Nice. Oh, hello. How are you? Nice to meet you, Cabal Coffers. Haven't opened you up before. Get to add you to the cool cards I've opened on stream. Well, really, you go Myths box, so that won't be happening, but thanks for stopping by. Sleeve? No, Cabal Coffers doesn't need a sleeve. Talisman of Curiosity, Old Border Foil. Blacksmith Skill, Old Border Foil. Changeling Outcast, uh, etched. Old Border, Modern Horizons 1. Imperial Recruiter, etched Mythic. I have a feeling Myth will want to sleep for that one too. Got one slot left. Cabal's still eluding MTG Gaming Bob as well as Chatterfang. I've opened a million Chatterfangs on the channel. You got a Foil Extended Art Blood Braid Marauder. I hope you like those because now you have two. You have this one and that one. That did look cool and etched. Imperial Recruiter. Looking nice and shiny. This is one of the ones that looks good in etched. Not many do, but that one does. One of the best ninjas ever, the Changeling. Then you have the Clue and Beast Token Myth. Thank you for supporting the stream. Appreciate it. Next up, we have Marcus. Marcus has a Time Spiral Draft and a Kaldheim Set Pack back-to-back. 
Spam rate looks really good and etched. I saved one for my art binder. Yeah, that's some pretty cool art. Are you talking about the old border one? So let's get the Time Spiral Draft and Calheim set packs. Marcus, do you want to pick your packs or do you want to roll? Don't remember what you did last time. Chris is an excellent friend indeed. The retro lied. Okay, you sent some uh, for Zach too, cool. Appreciate it, I'll take a look at my email here in a minute. I do see it, thank you very much. Got three people for the next commander battle, Myth, Guillermo, and uh, Chris Smith. Need two more if we wanna do a Commander Legends battle again. Cool, just random. So odds will be left, evens will be right, the dice will pick. 14, it's even for the right. And then Cal time set. Talamar will join it. Okay, so we need one more for the Commander Legends battle. Number two. Odds will be left, evens will be right. Let's see what we get. 15 odds from the left. Uh, wait till we get enough people, Talamar, but then yes, send $29. I don't want to have people send me money if we don't have enough people for a battle. Can't see a list of openings. Uh, I am sorry about that. There you go. I was still in battle mode. Um, Jeremy's still not here yet, so we're holding his. But Marcus, you're up. And then we'll open Zach's. And then we'll open your Zendikar Collector. So, best of luck to you, Marcus. Let's... uh. Let's do it in the order you have listed. Let's do Time Spiral first. Good luck to you. Thanks for supporting the stream. Hope you uh, hit some fire in this pack. Got that nice yellowish, greenish, whatever color that is, add card in the back, which is hopefully a token. Get through your uh, Time Spiral cons. Time Spiral is a little bit of a fun set. I haven't opened a lot of it, so we'll at least look at them all real quick. Calciderm is your first uncommon. Char Rumbler. Spellburst. Reiterate is your rare. Copy target insert sorcery spell. You may choose new targets for the copy with a buyback. Mystic Confluence is your old border card. You have a foil mycologist uncommon. And a knight token. Very cool. That's flanking. Something I haven't heard in a long time. Nobody else wants a legend spot. I'll take it. That way they can pay. Sounds good, Marcus. So I guess we have enough for the Commander Legends Battle 2. Talmar, Guillermo, Myth, Chris Smith, and Marcus. If you want to pay $29 by the ordinary methods, uh, we'll get that battle fired after we open up these packs that are on the schedule. So if uh, Talmar, Guillermo, Myth, Chris Smith, and uh, Marcus, pay the $29 in, we will get that fired. So you have Vault Robber art card right there. Pretty cool artwork. Snow Covered Swamps. Snow Covered Lands will probably be worth something because they're not very common. Just gotta wait a while. Cinderheart Giant, Goldwing Pick. Don't know where the uncommon start. It's a set pack. Lajar Mirror Lake's your first uncommon. Lajar Glade Warden for your second. Glade Walker Ritualist, this is a theme booster uncommon. Waking the Trolls, oh no. Leaving Reaper, this is a theme booster rare. Those are a little harder to find, so it might still be worth something. Foil, three seasons, uncommon. And an ad card, boo. These were for Marcus. Marcus, do you have a pile already? You do. I'll add these to your pile. How quickly I forget. So next up, we have Zach. Zach is getting Modern Horizons 2 Collector. Marcus took care of the payment on that. 100% getting a whole breacher, you might. And he took care of the Zendikar Collector too. So after we get those open, if everybody pays, we'll do the next battle.
Got money from Chris. Got money from Myth. Got money from Guillermo. So I'm waiting on Talmar and Marcus. But we're opening up Zach's Modern Horizon 2 collector pack. Here we go. Over here. Um, Marcus or Zach, do you want to roll the dice on this to see which pack you get? Chris wants the low again. You want all the Battle Bond lands and the Jeweled Lotus. I got it, Chris. Got money from Talmar. Thank you, Talmar. Rolls fine, says Zach. Very cool. Let's see what you get. Front left is odds. Back right is evens. 19, front left. Let's get you a, uh, a card, Zach. Thank you uh, for your first purchase on the Costing Cards stream. Definitely appreciate it. For any of you that are new here tonight, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you're notified of future videos and streams. I think you have to hit the bell button for that, technically. Hitting the thumbs up button helps more people find the stream, so uh, definitely appreciate that. Chris has to go. Making kids dinner is always good. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. See what Zach gets in his first ever purchase. Hopefully some fire. These Modern Horizons 2 packs can be hot and cold. So let's see what you get. Break Ties, Nested Shambler, Hard Evidence, Fodder Tosser, Counterspell. Not bad right there. Squirrel Sanctuary, Etched Art Planes, Necrogoyf Extended Art. Might be fun if you like black. Hey Paws, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate the notice and subs going up. Really appreciate it. Blossoming Calm. Esper Sentinel Sketch. That's a nice hit right there. This is one of the sketch cards I actually like. Don't like a lot of them. Undead Augur Old Border Foil. Faithless Salvaging Sketch Foil. Bone Shards Old Border Etched. Diamond Lion Old Border Etched. Hope for some fire in this last spot. We have a rare. Unmarked Grave, Extended Art Foil. Not amazing, not awful. And then you have a Treasure Crab Token. So that Esper Sentinel was the big hit out of your pack, Zach. Hopefully you enjoy that. Pause got six new subs today. Very cool, Pause. Pause is a YouTuber as well. What did I do with... This one out. That Esper sketch does look really cool and it's a super fun card in white. Very necessary card draw. It's featured on uh, Game Nights, that Commander YouTube video when. Uh, who was it? Post Malone was on there? So Marcus is getting a Zendikar Rising Collector pack. We. I uh, guess I need to start a list. I'm gonna put all that paper. Zendikar Rising Collector boxes have two box toppers in them. And the 12 packs each have a shot at getting a box topper. Since Marcus is the first buyer in this box, he will get slot number one. You're on the top of the list. As more people buy the box, we will uh, get those taken down. Man, I messed up another formula. Let me fix that real quick, guys, sorry.
There we go. That's better. Um, but we will do a drawing for the box topper. Pause this video on Wednesday and then a or a premiere on Wednesday and a live stream afterwards. Get into collector box. That sounds like fun. So better than the back best bleh, the last box. Yeah, that last box was uh, not the best. Box toppers weren't bad. We did get a fetch land out of them, but here are the two box toppers. I so will set these aside. Shuffle up the packs and we'll roll the dice for Marcus. Giving away 900 subs cards. Congratulations on hitting 900 subs yourself, Pause. It's a big milestone. That was a lot of fun to help you get there. I was trying to send people over from my stream. I think I was streaming a Magic Arena game that night. And uh, tried to get you a few new subs to get you to that 900 mark. So I hope that helped out. Okay, so odds will be front left, evens will be back right. Best of luck to you tonight, Marcus, on this Zendika Rising Collector Booster Pack. I want to get one of these boxes, four, that's back right. One of the boxes that has, like, four expeditions in it. I've seen them have up to five. So we need a good one after uh, these last couple boxes. Best of luck to you, Marcus. Gonna run the battle after this pack for Marcus, then we'll get to Darnell and Marcus's other pack. Got something fun in the middle there. Kabira Outrider, Inordinate Rage, Subtle Strike, Skyclave Sentinel, Expedition Champion, Merfolk Falconer, Explosive Adventure. The foils in Zendikar Rising were really good. They went downhill real bad after that sweet foil island right there. Cracking with Michael had a seven expeditions. Crazy. Tazri, Beacon of Unity, a mythic to start you off. Extended art. Not the best mythic, unfortunately. Coral Helm, Chronicler. Spitfire Legek. Skyclave Squid. Got another mythic, a double mythic pack. Jace the Mirror Mage. Oil Skyclave Geopede. Let's see what you have in this last slot back here. Zendikar Rising. So you have a full art pathway. You have Branch Loft and Boulder Loft pathway. Very beautiful card. Unfortunately, it's not the most valuable pathway, but it is a full art foil. Those are very cool. Hopefully those end up uh, gaining value over the long term. I think they're pretty useful lands. Uh, and then you have an Angel Warrior and a Copy Token. So I'll add these to your pile, Marcus. Hopefully you got some stuff you can play with. So guys, to do this Commander Legends battle, I didn't think we'd have two fire tonight. I'm gonna have to go grab a box out of the secret warehouse. It'll take just a second. Um, let me grab the name cards real quick for everybody who's battling. We have Talmar, I think Talmar's near the back. We have Guillermo. We have Chris Smith again. Do I have another card for you? I don't think I do. Make another one. What else is in the secret warehouse? Uh, more Commander Legends boxes and maybe another Jumpstart box. Uh, Chris Smith. I think we need another one for Myth too. Nice. How'd you get that for 40 bucks? They want like 75 here. I would actually probably buy that for 40 bucks. Actually, I don't know. I don't really play. I think it's super cool though. Who's the last person in this battle? Let's take a look. So we had Guillermo, Myth, Chris Smith. Oh, we have Marcus. Duh. Need another card for Marcus, too. Come 
Cawthorn Caverns. Sure, you could call it that. Really, all it is is just all y'all's boxes with a post-it note on the side that says uh, your name for all the stuff I'm holding for you guys. Don't play it all. It's love opening packs. I play Arena. I haven't played any paper um, lately. So let's see what the order for the battle is going to be. Then I will go grab the box. Let's see. Our order is Myth, Talmar, Chris Myth, Marcus H, and Guillermo finishing it up. You guys might be in trouble with Guillermo in that last spot, but we'll just have to wait and see. Let me go grab the box. The LTS spot the max amount and they have not sold. Well, that would be a reason. We're in battle mode. Let's get this box opened up. Good luck to everyone. Same rules as last time. This box will have Drain and Lotus. That would be something, wouldn't it, Jake? Needs to make up for the last box. Figure at least one box in this case is going to be fire. Watching while I sort cards. Good luck to everybody. Always good to have something on while you're sorting cards. Appreciate you watching the stream. I've been watching you guys open those collector boxes um, on your channel, Jake. Are those personal cards for you or are those for your patrons? Let's get these back in the box and hand it out. Four packs each, start from the left side of the box. Go from left to right across the field. Guillermo just wants us all to have a fun time and a Lotus. I don't think everybody's getting a Lotus, Guillermo. We can try that. Four for Myth. Four for Talmar. Four for Chris Smith. It's the second go for Chris and for Marcus. Four for Marcus. And four for Guillermo with four prize packs left over. They're getting pretty low. I've seen them get down to 210. Let's uh, start with Myth. Myth, good luck. At least one of the big mythics in this box. I hear you, Marks. Completely agree. See what we get. Daring Saboteur, first response, Kumbaj Witches, Wheel of Misfortune starting out with three. Miara, Hans Erickson for another four, foiled demonic lore and a golem token. Yeah, Seth uh, Guillermo pulled one on yesterday's YouTube short. Skipped all the uncommons almost. Burnish Heart, Hunter's Insight, Merchant Raiders, Profane Transfusion, not another nine mythic box. 
Balthus, Arumi, Foil Rare, Lathiel, Bounty of Stone. That's a four drop, so you're probably going for the high spot myth. You've only pulled three Jeweled Lotus. Kind of bragging, but it's hard to pull them. It is hard to pull them, but congratulations on that. No extended, though. Big CMC for sure. Or mana value, as they like to call it these days. Let's see what you get out of this pack. Burning Anger is your first uncommon. Ordeal of Nylea. Mask of Memory. Jessica's Will. Nice hit there for three. Not for the high spot, though. Armix. Malcolm. Foil Omen Speaker and a copy token. So, myth. Let's count you up. I want to say we've opened three Lotuses on stream so far. Might be two. It's hard to remember, honestly. Three, seven, and nine is 16, 20, 23. So I thought you were going high, but after last round, 23 seems like it might be middle of the pack. You do have one more pack to open. We'll see what you get. Next up, we have Talmar. First time tonight. Good luck, Talmar. Thank you for supporting the stream. Just because well is money, you are correct. Just because Will's half the buy in. Not bad, not bad at all. Command Tower, Volcanic Dragon, Arcane Signet, nice. Armorcraft Judge, Root Weaver Druid, going low. Wayne, maybe not. So that's another two for five, and three is eight in this pack, plus another foil rare, plus five is 13 in one pack with a copy token. That was wild. Four rares, one of which foil. None of them was uh, crazy, money-wise at least. But they all do count toward that high spot. 13 in one pack's pretty good. Let's see if you can keep it up. That is insane, Talmar. Horizon Scholar. Fencing Ace. Nadia's Nightblade. Staff of Domination for three. Kanji. Perk for another two. Foiled Range Assistant. Prismatic Piper. And a Zombie Token. Fox needs to pick up the spice. Third pack for Kalmar. See what we get here. Explosion of Riches, Siren Storm Tamer, Sifter Worm. It's another nine mythic, guys. This is another nine mythic box. Triumphant Reckoning for nine. Hamza, Alharu, Foil Trusty Pack Beast, and a Soldier Token. Let's see what Talmar got in just a second. That's insane. He's got some good luck. Let's see what Talmar has. Starting out with a 9 from that triumphant, triumphant Reckoning. Um, I did not Lord Debacle, but this was a sealed case I got, so it should not be a problem. Plus, I've opened plenty of Lotuses on stream, so... Um, 9 plus 2 is 11, plus 3 is 14, plus 5 is 19, 19 and 3 is 22, 22 and 2 is 24, and 3 is 27. So let's count that backwards. 3, 5, 8, 13, 16, 18, 27. Thankfully, the places I've been buying from, that has not been an issue. Chris Smith is up next. Good luck, Chris. I heard rumor that the boxes were mappable for the Mythics, but it's like within a case, and you would have to open packs to know that, and you would... I don't know. Natural Reclamation, Return to Dust, Demonic Lore, 
Monstrous Onslaught, War Room Rare, that's a zero. Elena, Nimrus for five. Oil Ghost Room Rare is the Petro and a Treasure Token. So don't buy them not in a case. That's the thing though, Guillermo, I have bought them not in the case and I've pulled Jeweled Lotuses and Mana Drains and uh, Vampiric Tutors. You guys have all seen it on stream, so. They would have to be cracking a case. Which I don't think anybody's cracking the set anymore. At least LGS is. Um, and take the time to map it. Ryan says, don't have to worry about that here. Everything gets open. Yeah, that's true, Lord Debacle. Thankfully, I haven't been buying from any of those places. No Collar, Sunset Pyramid, Confiscate, Amphid Mutineer for four, Jury, Tormod, Oil Strategic Planning, and an Angel Token. Vow of Torment, Furnace Celebration, Slaughter the Strong, Horizon Stone, it's five drop, Slurk, Keleth, Foil Fiery Cannonade, and a Salamander Warrior. So let's see where we're at so far with Chris. Five and four is nine, and four is, or, Five and four is nine, and five is 14, plus zero is still 14. So Chris is going for the low spot. Don't think he has a chance at high at this point with Telmar still having another pack. Next up is Marcus again. Gotta call it guys, hope everyone has a wonderful night. You too, Waffle Fries, thanks for hanging out with us tonight. See you in the Discord. If you guys wanna have a place to hang out in between streams, head on over to that Discord page. Exclamation point discord will get you an invite. Just follow the link and come hang out with us. Kanji's Lieutenant is your first uncommon. Mindless Automaton, Pride of the Perfect. Nightshade Harvester for four. Abomination Alanor, Prava of the Steel Legion. Foil Angelic Armaments, Prismatic Piper, and a copy token. So you're at four, that's pretty low. Waffle fries makes me hungry every time. Still got plenty of packs left, Ronnie. Don't forget we have those prize packs too. Fathom Fleet Swordjack, Scholar of the Ages, Dreamstone Hedron, Port Razor Mythic, The Five Drop, Tago, Tuya, Foilomorph's Axe, and a Zombie Token. One more pack for Marcus. Now Guillermo wants Chick fil A. Do they have Chick fil A out there, Guillermo? I thought you guys are in and out burger people. Lightning Rig Crew, Frenzied Saddle Brute, Thought Vessel, nice. Training Center, that keeps you low. Arden, Glacian, Foil Pilgrim's Eye, and an Elf Warrior Token. So right now you are sitting at five plus four, nine. That's crazy. Glad you got a Training Center, that's a nice hit at least. Marcus is at nine. Crazy. Last slot we have Guillermo. Good luck, Guillermo. That is the first battle bond land of this box. I think we only have one last box. So maybe those will pick up here. You have both. Interesting. Golem Artisan, Hero's Blade, Stinger Fling Spider, Plague Reaver for three, Felice, Halana, Spark Harvest Foil, and a Monarch Token. Had a Shake Shack open right before the pandemic that already shut down. Had a lot of Shake Shacks closing out here too. Chick-fil-A's really expanded over the last few years. Thirst for Knowledge, Sandstone Oracle, Guilt Leaf Winnower, Thoughts Will for five. Ragah, son of Ragah. Sarah's Renegade Recruiter for five. You got your etched here. Kenji Skywarden. Unfortunately, that's an uncommon. And a rock token. Wilson! 
Let's open this one upside down, see if that helps the luck. These packs have been less than inspiring. Make up for it somewhere in this case. Interpret the signs. Imperius Perfect. Revenant. You have a rare. Keeper of the Cord. Not a bad rare. Rebecca. Lisa, Shroud of Dusk for five. Dunned Operative Foil and a Monarch Token. So let's see where that puts Guillermo. Let's get some fire here. Still have eight packs left in the box, so still have a third of the box left to go. Hopefully we get something good. Five and four is nine. Nine and five is 14. And five is 19. And three is 22. Three and five is eight. 13, 17, 22. So Guillermo's at 22. Got a tight race at the top and bottom. We have Guillermo with 22 right in the middle. Myth is 23. Talmar has 27, but a nine drop Mythic can change any of those. Um, low spot, we have Chris and Marcus fighting for that. Chris has 14, Marcus has nine. Let's get started with our first spot here, Myth. Currently at 23, let's see what you get. That's unfortunate, pause. In and out's like a West Coast thing. To be completely honest, I went there when I was in San Diego. It was not what it was made out to be. This is an intense battle. Warden of Evo's Isle, Scaled Behemoth, Lore Seeker Stone. Sweet Glum Recluse for six. Currently puts Myth in the lead. Rayab looking for another rare. Kodama, nice, a six drop there. Sisei's Ring, Prismatic Piper, and Soldier Token. So we're adding 12 to Myth's total. That puts him up to 35. That's eight ahead of Talmar. We'll uh, double check that at the end. Did you get it animal style? I did not. Now we have Talmar. Needs an eight to jump ahead, or to tie. Needs a nine to jump ahead. And now it should be renamed 20 minutes in the drive-through. Why don't you count the Piper? It's not rare. It's a super secret rare, but it's not gold or orange. So it doesn't count. Shimmer Amir, Noxious Dragon, Court of Bounty. Looks like I skipped one, so he gets four. Looking for another rare to take the lead. Breaches. Obeka for another four. We have a tie. Volcanic Torrent, the Prismatic Piper, and the Monarch Token. This goes back to the rules in the Discord. We're gonna look for the rare with the lowest set number. So that'll be interesting if that tie stands up. Did get eight here, so that's 35. So unless Guillermo pulls 14 out, which is possible, we have a tie for the win, unless I miscounted, which we'll also check. So Chris Smith's last pack is here. He's going low. Land can have your Pipers. Sounds good, Talmar. I'll try to remember that later on. If you want to shoot me an email, I will make sure to get those out for him. But otherwise, it'll just be based on my memory. What an awesome battle, no lie, it's crazy. We want some good value though, like the value just has not been here. Vow of Duty, Ingenuity Engine, I think I skipped an uncommon, so this might be the rare coming up next. Nope, Victimize, Soul of Eternity for seven. That's not what you want to get to the low spot. Essior, Numa, Foil Entourage of Trust, and a Treasure Token, so we're adding seven to Chris, that puts him up to 21. Marcus would have to get a huge number to uh, pass Chris. He would need 13, which I don't think is going to happen. It's possible, though. Anything is possible. So this pack's for Marcus. Smash Burger's good. I would like to try that sometime. In and out, name their business after a concept that did not account for the idea they might become successful. Sounds pretty accurate. Make a stand, pen and blade, strength of the pack. Hole breacher. 
Everybody shed a tear. Can we get an F in the chat for this card right now, guys? An F in the chat for Hole Breacher. Just an F. That's all I ask. That's three. Gilrana. Emoti, so no rares. Boarding party, foil common, soldier. Congratulations, Marcus. You took the low spot with 12. You also took the record away for Myth, who had 14. 12 is now the best. Let's double count that real quick. So we have four and five is nine, and three is uh, 12. It's depressing that we got the whole breacher. Old Reacher, you will not be missed by anybody except for people that wanted money from their cards. I don't think you'll find anybody truly upset that the mechanics of the card were banned. Yeah, it's already tanked hard, Ronnie. Somebody says it's still available in 1v1 Commander. I mean, it's technically available in multiplayer Commander if you guys play by Rule Zero. It's like up to your playgroup, but... And I think there will still be people that play it. But the people who play by like the official rules, this is for Guillermo here. He's looking for something huge. Coastline Marauders, Guildless Commons, and slash the ranks for five. Captain Vargas, Brandlin, so five's not gonna get there. Blade Brandon, Zombie. Uh, that puts Guillermo up to 27, not enough. We will check to make sure we didn't miss anything in Guillermo's pile real quick. Same with everybody else. Guillermo did get the etched, it was just an uncommon though. So Guillermo, I will add these to your pile. Thanks for participating in this battle and supporting the stream. Marcus, we'll make sure you didn't miss any rares from your super low number. I don't think we did. We did not miss anything, so Marcus holds on to that low spot and we'll get two prize packs. Gotta figure out who gets the high spot though. It's gonna be tricky. If you see something, say something. But I'm not seeing anything. Chris, thanks for hanging out, supporting the stream, joining the battle. 21's not going to get it done. The music restarted. There is a tie. We'll double check that here. First, we'll make sure we didn't miss any rares, then we'll recount. We did not miss any rares, so let's recount Talmar real quick. Myth quoting the rules. Four, eight, eight and nine is 17, 19, 22, 27, 30, 32, 35. So Talmar does have 35. What Myth said, said Ronnie. Next up we have Myth, let's make sure we didn't miss any rares or Mythics. So that would technically probably give Myth the win, because I know there wasn't a Jeweled Lotus in this box yet. I feel like we're light on Mythics, so hopefully there's a Chase Mythic coming up in the prize packs. We did not miss anything, so let's double count Myth. So 6 and 6 is 12, 12 and 3 is 15, 15 and 4 is 19, 19 and 9 is 28, 28 and 4 is 32, and 3 is 35. So we do have a tie, now we go to the default, the lowest number. Not going to be black. Wow, so Mess lowest number is going to be red, or no, black, number 145. 
see what uh, Talmar has. I think Talmar's got the Triumphant Reckoning. That'll be the win here. Yep, number 52. So Talamar wins the high spot by getting the lowest card set number. So sorry, Myth, at least you got it just as well. I'll add these to your pile. Thanks for playing. He does have a white. So Talmar's got the high spot. He's gonna roll to see which two prize packs he gets. The other two, go to Marcus. So odds will be left, evens will be right. Let's see what you roll. 10. So the two right packs go to Talmar. Two left packs go to Marcus. Congrats to Talmar and Marcus for winning this battle. Best luck to you in the prize packs as we throw the box away. Start out with Talmar, good luck. Reordains, not a bad common to hit. Warsaw Advocus, Meteor Golem, Cast Down, Flamekin Herald for your rare, Kesket, Averna for double rare, Burnished Heart, and Zombie. None of the money cards we are looking for. Dobby, how are you doing tonight? It was a very close battle. It was a tie until we got to that tiebreaker. Supreme Well. Three visits. Nice. Undergrowth Stadium. Nice dollar wise. Anara. Radiant Sarah Archangel. Foil our Miller Sphere. And a copy token. Tell them our, hopefully you got some cards you can use there. Thanks for getting in on that battle to fill it up. I appreciate it. It's a lot of fun. So Marcus will be the decider. Is there a mythic? I have a lot of boxes in my closet, but I need to start getting rid of them. Empty boxes. I, there's just no use for them, and they keep adding up. So this is the first time for a tie. I'm glad I thought of a rule to fix that, so we didn't have to come up with something after the fact. Vow of Wildness. Humble Defector. Grafted War Gear, let's hit something good here. Laboratory Drudge, you've got to be kidding me. Ghost, Kedis, Foil Angelic Gift, it's down to the last pack. Chaos, how are you doing? Thanks for stopping by. These years for shipping. Only 44 to 1,000, that's sick. So we're at, is it 44 or 34? Use them for storage. I thought we were in the 960s for some reason. Maybe not. Staunch Throne Guard. Skilled Animator. Open the Armory. Feast of Succession. Come on, let's be something good. We have a rare. Rejuvenating Springs, so it's better than it could have been. This is one of the better Battle Bond lands to hit because it has blue in it. We still hope for a foil jeweled lotus, Nadia. Arcalos, ugh. Foil common, Angel of the Dawn, and the Zombie Token. So we did get three Battle Bond lands that helped the value. We had a Hole Breacher, which used to be good. Unfortunately, after what happened the other day, or actually today, that is no longer the case. So that's a bit unfortunate. Seth's brain's not working right now. 966, 34 more. There we go. That sounds more in line. If anybody's new here and hasn't subscribed, they want to hit that subscribe button. That'd be pretty cool. So let me do some back end work real quick. Uh, make sure we got these payments in and uh, we can get these next few packs opened up. Gamera says, I don't know about y'all, but I'm going to try getting these next commander battles because these next boxes can't be as bad as these two. I would hope that is true. It was a sealed case. I checked the stop tape before I opened it.
like Marcus is wanting to get a jump start. That was in with the battle money. And then Guillermo's getting two Modern Horizons, two set packs. Got everything squared away. Darnell, you ready for your pack? Let's roll the dice. What's still on the list to open? Uh, Darnell's opening Modern Horizons 2 Collector, then I have Marcus's Jumpstart, and then Guillermo has two Modern Horizons 2 Set Packs. Sorry, let me get the shot back up. That's what's left. Um, if Jeremy hasn't showed up by the end of the night, I will open his packs by the end of the night. But uh, Marcus, you're right after Darnell. Darnell's up next. Let's get it. Is everybody having fun tonight in battle mode? The last box was a little light on Mythics. You were not wrong. You saw me open it live, though. Odds front left, evens back right. Ten. It's back right. Dobby's leaving now. Bye, Dobby. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a good night. Hope all is well in the world of Dobby. It was a good battle, though. Bedtime, study time tomorrow morning. So, Darnell. Where's your card? Darnell's looking for the good stuff. Thanks, Dobby. Appreciate it. Arcbound Tracker. World Weary. So shiny. The way it should always be printed. There should not be non-foil versions of this card. If it's a common in a regular pack, it should just be a foil amongst commons. Rustvale Bridge. Glinting Creeper. Sanctuary Raptor. Etched Plains. Territorial Kavu Extended Art. Mystic Redaction. You got a uh, sketch, Chris the Hunger Tide. That's a nice hit right there. Foil Jade Avenger. Foil Old Border Defile Modern Horizons 1. Etched Milliken. Etched Rashad and Dockhand. Foil Extended Art Timeless Dragon. Not what we were hoping for in that back slot, but man, this card looks amazing in foil. I know it's not valuable, but it's a dragon and it's super cool and Darnell likes dragons, so congratulations on the foil extended our timeless dragon, Darnell. Hope you're happy with that one. Dobby, I grant the a sock. Better than Etch Timeless, so true. Pac Menace wants no whole breachers, please. Hopefully, we can do that for you, Pac Menace. So, next up, we have Marcus's Jumpstart Pack. Marcus will roll the dice for you and open up your Jumpstart Pack. Hey, Darnell, are you trading that Timeless Dragon? I really want it, says Guillermo. I don't know if he is or not, he collects dragons. Um, odds will be left, evens will be right for Marcus. Marcus, good luck. Thanks for supporting the stream again. 19, that'll be a left pack for you. Good luck to Marcus. I'll add these to your stack. Hopefully we got something good in here. So weird that these are backwards. All the other ones have opened the other way. Darnell's not attached to it. Vampires, this could be good. Drana, Liberator of Malakir. I don't know if this mythic, I know this could have um, exquisite blood. I'm not sure if this is also good. I think it is. Uh, Silver Smoke Ghoul, Bloodbond Vampire, Falconrath Noble, Gifted Aetherborn, Sanguine Indulgence, Agonizing Siphon, Child of the Night, Last Gasp, Mark of the Vampire, Nocturnal Feeder, Thriving More, 
Gloom Sower, and then the Vampire Castle. Thank you, Marcus. I'll add these to your pile. Hopefully this was one pack you didn't have yet. Next up, we have Guillermo with two Modern Horizons, two set packs. Let's see what Guillermo gets. All the three vampire ones are good. Good to know, Talmar. I think there are actually four. Odds will be left, evens will be right. Two. It's two from the right. A two for two packs. Hopefully that means they're good ones. Dane still needs exquisite blood. I have an extra one. For sale. Exquisite blood is, quote, tight. Good luck, Guillermo. You got a Timeless Witness token. Sanctifier on Vec. Get through these commons pretty quick. Prismatic Ending, that was fast. Kaleida Scorch. Road Ruin. Strike It Rich. That's what Guillermo's hoping to do with this pack. Fey Offering. Persist is your rare. Thurin Orb, Ethersworn Sphinx Sketch, Oil Vermin Gorger, and a Timeless Witness Token. We'll send you the rare if you want anything else out of that pack. Let me know, I'll set it aside for you. Second pack for Guillermo, got a Squirrel Token in the back. Flying Squirrel. Got a Junk Winder in the front. Got a foil swamp. Get through our commons. Arcus Acolyte, Constable of the Realm, Ren's Run Hydra, Mythic Full Art Fury. Not bad for a set pack at all. Chitter Spitter Rare, Milliken, Late to Dinner Sketch, Foil Crack Open. And that's Squirrel Token. So you got the Chitter Spitter and the Fur Fury Full Art Mythic. The Quinder's a must in Coma. Very cool. If you want any of those other cards, uh, Guillermo, that I did not mention, let me know. I'll add them to your pile. Next up, we have Pac Menace with two Commander Legends packs. Give me just one second while I check the back end. Got what I need. Thank you, Pac Menace. It's hard trying to remember everybody's real names with their YouTube names. You want to roll the dice, Pac Menace? You'll take the Fury. Let's roll it. Odds left, evens right. Odds two from the left for nine. Good luck, Pac Menace. Rolled the quote cursed die for you. I know it's brought you plenty of good luck. Sounds good, Guillermo. Hope you're having a good time tonight. Um, I think so. We've pulled some good stuff, but nothing crazy. We pulled a foil negation, but that was in the last box. That wasn't in this box, so they're completely separate boxes. Other than that, I think we pulled one fetch land maybe, but I can't remember for sure, to be honest with you. Skilled animator. Open the armory. Mask of memory. Necrotic hex for seven. Too bad it doesn't count in battle. Siani. Belborka for a double rare, a foil altasaur, and a monarch token. Zelmar has a spare zodiac dragon for you dragon fans out there. No fetches yet. Coffer was pulled. I think we got a tarn. Or was that in a set pack? I can't remember. We did pull the coffers. You are right. 
the borderless version. But with the way all the track runs run, you can get so many different types of stuff in those packs. I can't even keep track anymore. Lightning Raid Crew, Frenzied Saddle Brute, Thought Vessel, nice. Blade Griff Prototype, not so nice. Arden, Glacian, Foil Court Street Denison, and Spirit. Hey, you asked for no hole breacher. I delivered. Okay, so Myth did pull a Foil Tarn. That was the extended art. So that was the one... Um, Fetch land we've pulled so far. There was no hole breacher. I delivered. You got what you asked for. Next time you have to say no hole breacher, Lotus, Drain, or Vampiric Tutor, please. You would have to make a new box. Well, the good news is the box would be good until it's full, Archie Hayes. I mean, that box would last you lots of packs. But for now, we're going to go back in time to old boxes for Jeremy. Jeremy wasn't sure if he'd be able to make it tonight on stream or not, so... Uh... Jeremy... Replay, two hours, 54 minutes in. I should write that down. Future Jeremy, I'm writing down the time to tell you. And just so you know, RT Hayes, it's okay, because I went and I bought 30 of those boxes the other day. I have plenty. Folding one up for you would not be a problem. Jeremy got a list card. So that's good news. Ooh, we have some giveaways. People who stuck around are lucky. Suspend. See what else we get for Jeremy. Blossoming Calm, Healer's Flock, Vectus Gloves, Sylvan Anthem is the sketch. This is off center for sure. Seal of Removal, Underworld Hermit, Foil Healer's Flock, and a Pegasus Stampede list card from Exodus. Pretty cool. Message from the past. Good luck, Jeremy, says Darnell. It's got four more packs to make it happen. Got another list card. Got a Garth art card. Aether Sworn Sphinx, Brainstone, Vidalcan Infiltrator, Piru. That's unfortunate. That is not unfortunate. Full Art, Mythic Solitude, and a Set Pack. Nice hit there. It's all because Darnell wished you good luck. Guillermo's getting a Modern Horizons 2 Collector Pack. He has faith there's still something good in that box. Soul Snare. Squirrel Sovereign, Old Border, Foil Terminal Agony, my eyes, what happened? And an Urborg Panther from Mirage. Wow, you have to sacrifice three creatures. Search your library for Spirit of the Night and put it into plays that were just played. Shuffle your library afterwards. That's a wild card. Best part about giveaways two hours in is that Chris Walker has already won. Yeah, I guess that's one way to look at it. Summon Spirit of the Night. That is pretty cool. Damn! Got a damn art card here. Damn art cards. Mountain. Jeweled Eyed Cobra. Let's see where the uncommons start and the fun begins. Young Necromancer. Archfiend of Sorrows. Saul Talisman. Nevin rules disc, not the double rare you want. Glimmer Baron, Foil Fairgrounds Patrol, and a Squirrel Token. Hopefully, all the fires in these last two packs. Those two list cards go on the list cards not to play. 
Got another list card. Three for four is not bad. Hopefully we'll hit a good one this time. This art card is Blossoming Calm. Got my favorite planes. Feast of Sanity, Blazing Root, Walla, Rakdos, Headliner. Got a rare. Chef's Kiss. Mistress Factory. Pretty cool art right there. Gargadon. Foil Clattering Augur. And a Light Up the Stage. Ravnica Allegiances, I think. Not exactly the set you want to get your list card from. Hopefully this Modern Horizons 2 Collector Pack redeems the set packs we open. Got a zombie token in the back. And a Deepwood Denison in the front. Jeremy, good luck. Deepwood Denison, so shiny. The way it was meant to be printed. Battle Plan. Torox Canicle. Brainstone. Prophetic Titan. Island was the Prophetic Titan. Prophesizing some good stuff. Hopefully so. Ever rare. Bray's Apprentice. Kitchen Imp. Sithis Harvest Hand Sketch. Arcbound Shakiri, Air Amoeba, Old Border Foil. Air Amoeba, Old Border Etched. Don't know what the odds of that happening are. Kind of wild. It's very clear how dark the etches are when you do that. Karmic Guide, Rare. Pure the Volatile. Oh no! That was it. That pack was rough. I'm sorry, Jeremy. Hopefully that gets you some karma for some future packs, because uh, those were not the Modern Horizons 2 packs you wanted, but I appreciate you supporting the stream. Hopefully we get you some better pulls next time. That was painful. You have some people in chat that are currently sympathizing with you. So, uh, sorry man, I apologize. Better luck next time. Oh man, that was rough. Sorry, Jeremy. One second, guys. Guillermo says, sorry, Jeremy. Sometimes that's how it goes. Okay, so we have two one-pack giveaways, Modern Horizons two set packs. Uh, so let's let's use the same code this time. Exclamation point! Thanks. You get in on these. I'm going to draw both the giveaways from this. So uh, make sure you get in if you want a chance at either of these. Jeremy, I just opened your packs. You don't want to go back and watch them. I'm sorry. I apologize. Get in on this giveaway, exclamation point, thanks. Hopefully you can win these packs to make up for it, or one of these packs to make up for it. It started at two hours and 54 minutes. We'll just leave it at that. 
How are you doing, Jeremy? Did everything end up working itself out? Sounds good, Darnell. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out tonight. He will still end up winning. Chris isn't here. He can't win. The way I look at it, Jeremy, you are building up to an amazing opening that will be happening soon. Awesome. Glad it was able to be fixed. Hope you love air amoebas. My last VIP pack, I got a Goblin Guide and a Meddling Mage, so $100 for 23 of cards. Marcus, it's still going on. Hit exclamation point, thanks. Okay, we're going to close it down now. 3, 2, 1, close. Okay, everybody's in. Let's see who wins. Darnell! Darnell's a good dude. Let's uh, roll see the packs. Odds left, evens right for two giveaway packs. 17, so two from the left are the giveaway packs. Then we'll do it again to see which one Darnell gets. Gotta hurry up and get this done before his battery dies. Odds left, evens right. 14, the right pack. Good luck, Darnell. Sweet, I fell behind. Glad I'm skipped ahead. Glad you did as well. Thinking a sword? You got a clue in the back. Thrasa's Tempest Roar. Thrasa's Thrasa Tempest Roar. Let's see what you got. There are all these in your box, Darnell. Since you've already got shipping paid for. Scuttle Tide. You have a mile. Cradle of Growth. Great hit there. Squirrel Mob. That's a fun one. Marble Gargoyle. Old Border. Boundary Helix Foil. And a clue token. Congratulations, Starnell. So let's see who wins the second pack. Here we go. Can't be Darnell. MTG Peddler, congratulations. Let's see what you win, sir. I didn't even see him get in on the giveaway, sneaking in there. Good luck, Peddler. Chaos is sad he didn't win. Got a pretty cool uh, art card there. That is Glorious Enforcer. You won, Peddler. Congratulations. This is your pack. Territorial Kavu. Esper Sentinel. Nice hit there, bud. Angelic Curator. Arcbound Shikari. Foil Gouge Zealot. And a clue token. So Peddler gets the Esper Sentinel. Congratulations, Peddler. Uh, no, it has not. Not lately. Not tonight. I'll ship you the good stuff, Peddler. Endurance has been pulled before. That's a green one, right? That was a nice pack indeed. Thank you to the mysterious donors who donate packs on this channel. You all are awesome. This is the point where Peddler says thank you. I pulled Endurance a long time ago, but nothing out of that, uh... You need the mountain in non-foil. I will make sure you get that. Oh, you did say thanks, I missed it. Chat's going too fast. Chat, quit going so fast. Donors are great. I'm a donor of blood. Does that count? It does count. Pause. 
Lots of Furies lately and no aired Maces. That is not a joke. I haven't seen a subtlety pulled. Is that the blue one? I think we pulled one tonight. Maybe not. Shaman Peddler into a double thank you. So, Guillermo getting another Modern Horizons 2 collector pack. Best of luck to you. Hopefully this one's a little better to you. 3.4 gallons, that's a lot. I think. Where'd the box go? It's starting to get late, guys. Appreciate everybody who's been ordering packs tonight. It's been a lot of fun. Chaos wants to see the sword get pulled. Let's see what we get. Odds front left, evens back right. Four, back right. A sealed pack of the non-foiled if you need it, uh, Peddler, of the Modern Horizons 2 lands, I'm assuming from the bundle. That's awesome, Paws. Good luck to Guillermo. Hopefully you hit something spicy in here. Crack open, that's what we did to this pack. Gouge Zelt's gonna be what happens if uh, he doesn't hit something spicy. Capricorn, hunting pack, Etch Swamp. Sanctifier, Anvec, full art. Lens Flare, Rise and Shine, Abundant Harvest Sketch, Glimmer Baron, Old Border Foil, Blacksmith Skill, Old Border Etched, Dothy Voidwalker, decent hit there. Get that in a sleeve. Retro Etched. Time to see the last card. I think you'll be happy with this one. What are the big MH2 hits? That's one of them. Foil. Old Border. Aired Mesa. It's not a Misty. It's not a Verdant. It's not a Scalding Tarn, but it's a Fetch Land. Congratulations to Guillermo. Lots of good hits in Modern Horizons too, you know that. But like everything, the prices have been fluctuating, so it just kind of depends on the day of the week. Uh, we did get a Scalding Tarn Extended Art foil from this collector box already. We also got a Cabal Coffers from this box. Um, and then we got this foil Old Border Arid Mesa for Guillermo just now. There are five packs left in that box for anybody who's interested in trying their luck. Commander Legends box was uh, it had three Battle Bond lands. Guillermo wants to trade with Dane. I mean, it wasn't great, but it wasn't the worst box ever. There was a Hole Breacher. Guys, there was a Hole Breacher. That card's so good. Oh, wait. It was banned. It was banned. Banned. Today. Dane, hit exclamation point Discord to get on Discord if you're not already. But guys, remember, you never have to feel bad for Guillermo. Because he pulled that at the beginning of the night. That was from the last box, not from this box, though. It's etched prettiness. So good. And then the pack, just in case Guillermo has a problem with it. I have not pulled an Urza yet. That is one I have not pulled yet. Well, guys. 
we're out of packs to open. So if anybody wants to see something open right now, now's the time to place the order. Let me know you're making the order and uh, I'll wait. Been playing some D&D Draft on Arena. It's been a learning experience as I get to learn the set. Um, I'm by no means the best drafter, but I've managed to go 21 and 21 so far. So I will call that a win, I guess. Still looking to improve. Slowly learning the set. The instants are always what gets me. Your brother pulled an Urza. It's a very sexy old board. Do you know if it was etched or foil? I personally love the foil much more than the etched, but I know some people like the etched. I mean, I would be happy to get either one. Don't get me wrong. Um, but foil would be the preference. Jake, getting a Modern Horizons 2 collector pack. Would you like to pick your pack, sir? Or would you like to... Uh, would you like me to roll the dice? Went from bronze unranked to platinum from yesterday to today drafting. Good job, Bobby. Uh, checking to see if it went through. Did you do Cash App or PayPal? We will roll the dice. Sounds good to me. It would help if I knew how to use this stupid thing. There we go, I think. It looks like it came through, but I'm trying to figure out how this works, which is ridiculous. I should know this. Oh no, you have to send payment separately. Sorry, it's not like a shopping cart. Jake's got to pull the Urza now. That would be amazing. This is like a monumental moment of the stream. It's uh, you have to go manually send it through PayPal or through Cash App. I wish I had the opportunity to just submit the form and take money from people, but that's not how it works. Yeah, the form just sends me the information. It doesn't send me money. Guillermo, any chance you want to part with that Arid Mesa? Marcus might want to trade you for it. I'm trying to figure out where you go on Cash App to like look at transactions though. Oh, here it is. Okay. Finally figured it out. The email is coffincards at gmail.com for PayPal. It's, um, I'll type it in chat. Hold on. Thank you very much, Jake. While he's doing that, let's roll the dice and get the pack out, and I will... Will I make Jake a card? Jake, you get a special card clearing out of slips of paper. Jake gets a flippy card. Good luck to Jake. Appreciate you supporting this stream, Jake. Very cool of you to do. Good luck to Jake. Hope you pull some fire. That would be fun indeed. 
Dude, this is nuts. Let's pull some fire. Haven't seen a monkey yet. You are right, sir. That would be a fun pull for sure. Get a Ragavan. Scent. There it is. Thank you very much, sir. Let's do this. Do you have a preference whether you choose the Modern Horizon or Strict Saving Dice? Let you choose. So hopefully you'll do better. Hopefully so. Strict Saving Dice is supposedly cursed, but it has pulled a MH2 dice. There we go. Odds will be front left, evens will be the back right pack. Let's see what we get. <laughs> 10. So that'll be the back right pack. That is this one right here. Scalding Tarn Retro Foil. That would be a fun one for sure. Best of luck to you, Jake. Yeah, not a problem at all, Jake. Guardian Kieran, Jeweled Eyed Cobra, Chrome Courier, Tragic Fall, Underworld Hermit, Filigree Attendant, and the Etch Plains, my favorite planes. Hopefully that means good things are to come. Got a rare. Master of Death Extended Art. Phantasmal Dreadmoth Sketch. Have a mythic. I'd say that's a good hit right there. Sword of Hearth and Home, full art. That is a nice hit right there. Not quite like the foil of goodness, but there still could be fun stuff left in this pack. Dane called it. Jake says, the nice. Bobby copies him right afterwards. Sleeve, yes, obviously this one goes in a sleeve. Jake will take it. Congratulations, Jake. Let's see what's next. Get that sleeve ready. Have a uh, foil ingenious infiltrator. Careful not to reveal anything else. Foil nested shambler. Talisman of hierarchy. So here we are to the good stuff. Let's see what's next. We have etched. Oh, well, hot dang. It's not a retro foil scalding tarn. It's a retro etch scalding tarn. Let's get those sleeves back out, guys. I think this qualifies for tracking. Okay, now when we pick this card up, we see the other card too. Let's effing go, says Jake. If I had the voice mods, we'd be doing those right now. But that's a that's a Jake and Joel thing. We're not going to go into that territory. Let's see what the last card is. Foil Dothy Voidwalker. What a pack. Man, Jake. You wondered if there was still fire left in the box. There was. There still might be more fire left. Dothy Voidwalker. Old Border Foil. Oh, and you get a food token. What a pack. You are not kidding, sir. Congratulations. This is what everybody was waiting for right here. The food token came in this pack. Sounds good. I'll get that in a bubble mailer to you. Welcome to the stream, Jake, says Peddler. Timeless Dragon. Unfortunately, it's got that line down the back that you see on these tokens, but that's a pretty cool token right there, too. I'll ship you this whole pack, Jake. Congratulations. Let's go through those hits again, because that was sick. There was a ton of fire in that pack. He had the Dothy Voidwalkers, what ended it, but the Scalding Tarn stole the show with that old border etch goodness. But don't forget, you also got that borderless Sword of Hearth and Home Mythic. Beautiful card right there. Talmar wants to know if... Uh, 
Happy you rolled the dice. This box was nuts. It was. Still got four packs left. Talmar wants to buy you a pack to get this sword, Jake. I don't know if that's something you want to do or not. You got the food token, too! Literally, this is just insane. Talamar, he would do that. So Talmar, if you want to PayPal the 35 bucks over, I will get Jake another pack. For the sword. So once I see that over here, we will get another pack for Jake. Well, that was crazy. And then an unexpected turn of events. Jake's going for another pack for the sword. Best stream ever, says Guillermo. Mark's like, right? Hope you guys are having fun. Gotta call it Misty Rainforest in the next pack. We will see. The sword is not foil, you are correct. It is just regular, old, not foil. It's beautiful, but honestly, it'll sit in a binder, so if you will use it, go crazy. I got the money. Move this sword to Talmar's pack, Jake. I hope you enjoyed owning this sword for two minutes and 15 seconds, or whatever it was. It's going to Talmar's pile now. But the good news is you get to roll the dice again. But I have to ask, you want to roll the Modern Horizons 2 dice again? Get the box back out. The stream needs more viewers. Hey, I've been trying, man. I appreciate it, Jake. I hope you're having fun. It sounds like you are. Same dice. Odds front left. Evens just the right, because there's only one pack left. Let's see what you get. Good luck, Jake. 20. That's this one right here. Let's see what you get. A lot of people are missing out. Appreciate it, Jake. We peddled coffin as much as we can. Awesome guy. I appreciate it, peddler. Got a zombie army token in the back. Best of luck. Here we go. Shattered Ego, Arcbound Prototype, Deepwood Denizen, Captured by Legax, Glorious Enforcer, Mistress Factory, Swamp. Here we go, guys. Starting out with a rare. Extended Art Suspend. Up next, we have the not so fun slot, the Gargadon. But what comes after the Gargadon? A Mythic, you say? A Mythic with some red on it? Is this what I think it is? It is not, but it is a Full Art Fury. Another Mythic, not bad. I was hoping that was Ragavan. It was not, though. Fury's still good. Let's see what else is in this pack. Step through. Foil. Brainstone. Foil. Terminal Agony. Hopefully there's not Terminal Agony. We have a rare. It's toward the end of the set. It's a Cursed Totem. I haven't seen that one pulled in a long time. We have one more chance. What will we get? It's a foil. It's a mythic. It's number 324, whatever that means. You have got to be kidding me. Man. What? You upgraded, bud. Congratulations. 
Talmar, you should have bought this pack yourself, bud. Stop! Oh my god! Awesome F in chat for Talmar. Peddler says, just stop. Talmar says, I said I would cry. I'm sorry, Talmar. That beauty's going in a sleeve right there. I know there are people that would fight you over this card. Upgraded to a foil sword. Holy shenanigans. Congratulations, Jake. That is sick. Talmar, I'm so sorry. I don't know. I don't know how to react because I'm so happy for Jake, but I'm so sad for Talmar. Either way, it's good TV. That will be going in SRAM. Beautiful. Jake, that was a win, sir. Bobby's still dropping the Fs in chat. I think that's a good way to end the stream, guys. Like, I don't know that we can top that. To be fair, that's worth two packs. Dude. L-M-A-O. Jake, consider building Rayav for equipments. <laughs> That's gambling, baby. It is. Congratulations to Jake. Jake, I'll ship these out on Saturday. If you need it sooner, let me know. Saturday's my normal mail day, but in this case, I think I could make an exception. Uh, but I will ship with tracking. You'll get an email. Uh, when I get the tracking number, I pr package everything up on Friday nights. Jake, consider buying a lot of ticket. No joke. Rough night for Talmar. I'm sorry, Talmar. So good. You are not kidding. It's been a rough month. But the good news, Talmar, is you have the sword you want. Saturday's fine. Sounds good, Jake. We'll get that out with the rest of the mail on Saturday. You'll get an email with a tracking number probably Friday night. Guillermo loves today. Hey, you got a sword. Did you just get here, Myth? Have you not been watching this? I can't keep up with chat anymore. It's just, it's too crazy. This was so much fun, guys. That was nuts. Jake, first off, thanks for watching the stream. Second, thanks for buying a pack. And third, that was some crazy entertainment right now. MTG gods favor you today. They do, sir. You do not pull like this for yourself. That's what a lot of people say. Uh, Marcus, you probably have a decent amount of room in your box. If you want to send me an email, I will send you a picture of what your box looks like. Just shoot an email at coffincards at gmail.com. They both got swords. It was a pleasure. Can't wait to come watch again. Well, I appreciate it, Jake. We stream on Mondays and Thursdays, 8.30 Eastern Time. Um... And we normally stream for a few hours, so it was a lot of fun having uh, you here tonight. Having everybody in chat, everybody who purchased packs, our generous donors that gave some packs away. You guys are awesome. Um, everybody who had a fun time pulling stuff. I'm sorry for the people who didn't get Jake's luck, um, but that's just how magic works sometimes. Um, but congratulations on all of the fun hits. I hope uh, you all had fun tonight. If I get a chance, I might do an arena stream later this week, but it'll just depend on what's going on with the schedule and whatnot. But I think that's where we end it. The foil Sword of Hearth and Home with the foil Retro Scalding Tarn. Guillermo wants to battle Jake, maybe on a future stream. That would be fun. Glad I was here, keeping it positive. Glad you were here too, Pause. That was a lot of fun. You guys, I'm going to end it on a high note. I am so amped up. I don't want to hit the end button, but it doesn't get any better than that. Thank you guys for an awesome night. It was so much fun. I will see you on Thursday, 8.30 Eastern Time. Have a good night, guys. Jake, join the Discord. Exclamation point Discord. That's where we organize all of our battles. So thank you guys for the fun. I will see you Thursday. If you want to hang out, chat between streams, talk tonight while I de-amp. Um, I'll probably be in Discord some tonight. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Hope you had a good night. Join that Discord. Come hang out with us. See you Thursday.